stage with all the best A lot of good it did for me I've walked through all of China Walked till my feet were sore Came home to Carolina I found my love next door
don't know why I've been playing it coy, pretending at your heart's expense. Hello, is anybody here? <laughs> Hi! Hi, would you like your treat? Hi! Are you ready? 
Come here. Come over here. Can you sit? We gotta do a trick. High five. Good girl. Other paw. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Luna. Hi, Mom. Hi, Kara. All right. We're gonna play um, the prologue and the, the alternate ending to Among the Sleep. I figured not many people would be interested, but I don't know. I don't know. So we'll just play it and then we'll switch. You got 149.8k sunflowers so close to golden. How much is golden? I should know. 150. Oh. Oh, you're very close. You're very close. You'll get that easy. Easy peasy. We'll start with this. It shouldn't take long. I'm pretty sure like... I don't know. The game was only four hours. So how long would the prologue be? Maybe 20 minutes? Maybe 30? In the alt ending? I don't know. We'll just try it. Hi Daphne. And then we'll switch. We'll switch back to Animal Crossing or something. Let's make sure that this works, huh? Oh, there it is. You missed the ending last time. Okay, so I assume anyone here doesn't care if anything's spoiled or you wouldn't be here. Um, the e uh, ending to the original four hours, close your ears if you don't want to hear it, but that ending was just that the child went with the father. And so it was a happy ending, right? It kind of left you like, it left you wanting to know more, but it was happy because the child was away from the mom who was having issues, but went with the dad. So it was a happy ending. So I think the alt ending is not a happy ending, but I'm not sure. I didn't want to search it and uh, spoil it. I waited, I waited a whole week so I could do it on stream first. It was in here. Okay, so we did all of these. It took us about four hours, right? This was the whole one. It's on YouTube if you do want to watch it all, or on Twitch. Now there's a prologue, so like the before story, and then museum, which apparently is the alt ending, I think. By my Googling, I think that's what it is. So we'll just do it. We'll get into it, and then when we're done, we'll switch to a happy game. We'll go to Animal Crossing, and um... I'll re-ping Twitch so that the people who didn't want to watch this can come back. Because, uh, it is a little spooky. And it's kind of stormy here. So extra spooky for me. Oh, it's loading. So we'll see. We'll see how long this is. Watch it be like five minutes. Because I didn't want to do it when we played the whole four-hour one. Because I was already here for like five-some hours. And so I was like, oh, we'll just save it, but watch it only be a couple minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, because I had opened this, but we didn't do it. Oh. I am child? Okay. Why does the snow look like this? It makes me a little dizzy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You're at 4.3k? Hey, you'll get there. I really don't know what the prologue entails. Loud. Loud. Scary. This is as far as we got when I opened it. And then we just, I was like, nope, I'm not doing this. <laughs> We're getting off. Cold. So, so cold. This is as far as we got. All right. Teacups. Oh. Our room is different. This is a completely different room, isn't it? This isn't even the room we have. We're the same child, though. Is this our room at, at Dad's house? Wait, that'd be interesting. I'm kind of sad that when we're done with this, there's no more of this game. This is like a happy photo. It's us and all our toys, maybe? Yeah. Can 
can I get you out of here? Are you okay? Sir? All of our memories are all in the snow, aren't they? I assume we have to go out the window. It's now storming here in real life. <laughs> Good timing. Oh. Oh! Please. More warm. More happy. It's a little terrifying. More warm, more happy. Oh, here. This will make you happy. Monster, don't like happy. Uh huh. It's raining very hard now. <laughs> Can I pick you up? <gasps> oh, I'm holding him. Okay. The others hiding. Oh, scared. Okay, this is creepier than the main game. Please help them. This, the voice is more terrifying than anything else we played. We need a key though, don't we? Oh no. Oh, it's open. That voice is scarier than like, the monster from the actual game that's scarier than Teddy's voice. Please, help them! Wait. I remember you. Apparently we can't pick him up. Okay. I don't know what house we're at either. Hello? Is anybody there? Is this our house? Are we in a log cabin? <laughs> Ooh, 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 the monster's still here. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the prologue would be happy. Guess not. Is that the same monster? Are we with, is this our mom then? Oh gosh. Where's my storytellers at? We gotta figure this out. Cause obviously this is a story that we just, we don't, we don't know. A picture? Um... Someone sitting in a lawn chair, somebody holding something? Is that supposed to be like mom and dad or... I don't know. I, I don't like that noise. It might come and kill us. Just just be warned. I assume we're gonna get killed again. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> Not what I thought! Hi! Thank you. Hello, Simmer Lily. Welcome in. I hope you're not too scared of scary games. What was that? Welcome, how was your stream? Welcome in. Uh, I just started, we're doing the prologue and the alternate ending of this game. I don't know how long it is, I haven't played it, I haven't watched it. That, <laughs> it was just like, I think that was a memory that popped up, but I don't know, but that scared the crap out of me and then you raided. Whoo, whoo. What is that? Do you guys see that in the door? It's moving. Is that a figure? I'm scared. Of course we're in a freaky log cabin, which is probably scarier than anywhere where else the game has taken us. I believe the prologue and alternate ending was made after the original game because it came out in the extended edition, so... But I have no idea. We can't even reach that. I feel like we shouldn't go into that room. Ah! 
What is that? This isn't like the regular game. Like, it's different. I don't like it. I don't know what to expect. I was getting used to that creepy tree figure, right? Like, it killed us so many times I didn't even care anymore. I don't like this. Why? Ah! Why well, hate that? <sighs> so that was mom knocking on the door. Do you think this story was with mom and dad still? Is this where they- Well, don't shut! I don't- I don't know. Can we- Oh, we can move the boxes. Oh, gosh. Is that dad with a pipe? Oh, his pipe! Remember his pipe? He had a pipe on the- So this is literally just giving us more story, isn't it? Okay, but with scary noises. So it's like... Oh. Oh god, something's gonna happen. That's a plane ticket, isn't it? Maybe? I don't like that noise. I'm just lucky I haven't finished the VOD. I'm not watching by- Okay, fair. Fair. I'll let you know when we're back to Animal Crossing. I don't trust those noises. So that's dad's pipe, which was at the original house, if you remember. I'm not sure if those noises mean something or if it's just supposed to make it scarier. <laughs> I really don't know. Wait, the calendar. 1986. I feel like the noises are getting worse. Should I be worried? Wait! A picture with three dudes? Is one of them dad? If the noises could just not, that'd be great. Oh, what's this? Just a bunch of notes we can't read? Oh yeah, we speak baby. Another photo! <laughs> what is that? I really don't like the noises! Are you buying a Switch Ven? <laughs> That's exciting. Hi! What's this? What is that noise? Oh, it's just a photo frame. Oh, you know what? I think I actually read that. I think this is Dad's side of the story. So are we at Dad's house then? And that's our baby room at dad's house? I think that might be it. Hi Kristen, hi Katie. We're playing the prologue, trying to figure out the story of like what it's trying to tell us, but also I'm not sure if there's gonna be jump scares. The music really makes it sound like there is going to be. Is it just doing that? Like, why is it making those scary noises? What's out the window? Hold on. Those noises are literally scarier than the game. I think we are too. And dad must have lived in a cabin. Okay. I think those are supposed to be like voices of dad, but... Where does it want us to go next? It's been kind of leading us with those creepy white pop-ups. I have chills, but it's fine. That's locked. We have shoes, shoes, shoes. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh. Why are these noises so loud? My mic is loud too, sorry about that. I don't think it wants us to go in this room. I'm going in. 
That looks really scary. Cold. Happy, please. More happy. Oh, another friend. Hi, unicorn. It is spook day. Oh, not the TV. That's never good. Oh, I can put a VHS in. better <laughs> look at our froggy toy here's a creepy doll hello she kind of looks like Anne so we're like rescuing our toys from this place while also learning some of dad's story that makes sense I'm still scared it is loud <laughs> might want to turn down stream I'm loud and the game's loud right now Someone's having wine. Oh lord. We can't grab the wine, I tried. I feel like we should go and- No! It's not killing us. Is that not the same scary thing from before? Look, I'm staring right at it and has eyes. Should I go towards it? If it kills us, it's fine. Just. Oh, dear lord. What is that? That's not. That's not the tree person. What? Should we walk into it? I'm actually terrified. Like, to go any further. It's not coming at us. Do you think if I stand there, it will, it will kill us? I'm just for science. Brace yourselves. It might kill us. Okay, don't walk into that. That was for science. Okay, got it. Don't walk into that one. <laughs> it kills you? Okay, where am I at? Do I still have my doll? Okay. Wait! But I wonder what that represents, because the scary tree person represented the mom. But that doesn't look like it represents dad, because our dad's supposed to be... What is panting?! Um, I don't know if there's VR. Probably. Oh, look. Did I just get killed again? What did I get killed by? <laughs> I need to turn down my mic. I keep screaming. What? I didn't... I heard it, but I didn't see it. Test, test. There we go. What the heck? <laughs> I was trying to see the little shadow thing. I can't tell the shadows apart from mom and dad. It's really difficult. <laughs> Okay, don't do that. I will say the more times that happens, the less scarier it gets because um, it's like, okay, you died, it's fine, restart. <laughs> but yeah, I read something about a special mode for your eyes. It kind of sounded like that unicorn. I couldn't tell if it was the baby. It must have been the that creepy shadow thing. Must have been behind us and I just didn't know. Love, love, I need you here for the story. Okay, let me catch you up. We haven't done much, but this is the prologue, right? So this is what happened before the story. Let me let me put in the escape real quick. This happened before the story. Um, So far, we've rescued a toy from the cold, two toys from the cold, and they speak really creepy, right? Okay, we're definitely at like dad's house. This must be dad's cabin. It's making like little, not necessarily the memories, but maybe it's like, white figures that uh, pop up and look like mom and dad to tell the story. So I'm trying to figure out what it's trying to tell us. And I need you. So I'm glad you're here. 
so far we've seen like it kind of looked like a figure of mom pounding on a door and then the door went into dad's office and his pipe was in there and there was some pictures of dad with some other dudes I'm assuming maybe his father or brother or friend. There was a plane ticket looking thing, but I'm not sure if it really was a plane ticket. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then we, there's this creepy shadow. If you walk into it, you die. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. This is our bedroom here. This is where we started. So it kind of looks like our bedroom at mom's. It has some of our memories here. But this is supposed to be the prologue, so before Dad rescued us then? You know, before the whole story? And it makes a lot of creepy noises, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, which way do we need to go? But I'm glad you're here, because I need help deciphering. <laughs> this, we were in this room already. There was a photo. This is like Dad's bedroom, I guess. Um, what's this? Can I open this? Is there anything inside? Nope, and we don't have Teddy or anything either. Like, we're just on our own. There's books here. Am I supposed to climb this? That must have been the baby breathing. The baby breathing honestly sounds like baby has asthma. Is that a photo over there? It's so dark I literally can't see. Oh, it is. Oh look, a photo of mom and dad fighting, and baby is... Because we're the blue baby, we're like running away. Angry mom and dad. Oh. I miss Teddy too. But I guess we didn't get Teddy yet, that's why he's not here. This is the prologue. This was dad's office. I'll show it to you so that you get the full story. And... Oh, the book's gone. Or did I throw it? I might have thrown it. See, doesn't this look like a plane ticket, right? And then there's a journal here. His pipe's gone too. Wait a second. I didn't throw his pipe. There was a pipe here and a pen and a book. What the heck? There's a calendar, but I don't speak it, but it says 1986. And there's a lot of scary noises. Um, th here's the picture. Look, doesn't it look like one of those is might be dad? And like... I don't know. His brother? Friend? Listen! This is a bunch of notes, but we speak baby, so I don't understand them. Are we about to be killed again? Um, and then this picture. At first I thought it was like a military picture, but I don't think it is. It's just hard because there's not textures, so I'm not sure on that. And that's the extent of where I've, where I've gotten. <laughs> and then we got killed a couple times before you came in. Don't walk into the creepy spirit. There's an upstairs. Isn't the detail so good? That's just the front door. We were in here. And we had to put a VHS tape in. Because our toys want it to be happy. Because the, the scary monster can't get them if it's happy, apparently. Um, nothing in there. There's some wine up there. A bird! Can I climb this? No. Oh look! Is this our elephant? Oh! Do you remember elephant? That noise is terrifying. I didn't do that. I guess we're going to the kitchen. I assume another pop-up's gonna happen. Ah! Yeah, that. Whew! Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's fine. Hello? I'm a little extra jumpy today. Um... 
Oh no! Look at this photo! It's dad angry handing mom who's a little more not angry, the baby. So we got, cause we were given to mom. Cause the next story is we're at mom's house. Oh. Oh, the baby sounds. Oh. Bread box, candles? Some fruit. Is the fruit purposely making a sad face? Look, a bottle, paper towel. Do you think these are custody papers? Or divorce papers? I assume it's one of the two. Cause it has spots for two signatures, doesn't it? Wow. There's my trip trap. Yeah, I think that's probably custody papers. Maybe divorce, probably custody. This is a trip trap. That's so cool that it has that. We had one of those at mom's house too. Does this open? It's very dark. I wish I had Teddy. Um, just some plates. Okay. I know there's gonna be another jump scare. I just know it. Whoa, wait, there's something here? I can't see it. My screen is so d Oh, you know what? I turned my screen brightness down. Hold on. Like, I turned my entire monitor down for Animal Crossing. It didn't help much. It helped a little bit, but I literally didn't know there was something here. Okay. This place is extra dark. I don't see anything in there. We haven't been in this place. Whenever we go somewhere we haven't been, something jumps out. I feel safer cro- oh. Help! Please! Isn't that our mother? It was. Please! Help! Okay, I don't know where you are though. I'll close the window. There you go. Oh. Am I being killed? Let me shut this. Baby, shut it! This window's too strong! <sighs> Oh my gosh, Luna. Oh, he's stuck up there, our toy. I need to, I, I'm, I'm weak. It's the toy, do you see that creepy toy up there? We've rescued two so far. I think uh, we have to rescue all the toys, but then we're learning the story as we go. Luna, congrats on Golden Sunflower. I got a knife. I will give you that in a moment. Cold. So, so cold. Hi. Congrats, Luna. Can I shut it from up here? Jeez, that was rough. Are you good now? Happy, please. More happy. We have to figure out how to make it happy. Um. Do you like toast? Toast is happy. I like this prologue too. Oh, the music, the music. We gotta turn on the music. <laughs> ah! Why? Oh, Lord. Oh, the ghost. That's, the, or the, whatever that is. The monster is over there. I need to climb up here. Hello, welcome in. I can't open this drawer. I think the radio, yeah. It looks extra happy. There we go. 
little creepy, but there's the happies. <laughs> Thank you. Lord, that's so scary. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hi. See, I have three toys now. Okay. Because at the very beginning, the toys were around like a campfire thing. And then when I walked into it, it teleported us into our room. And now all the toys are stuck. Anyone want some food? There is a monster trying to kill us, so... Wait, there's a photo on the fridge. I want to see it. It looks like mom, dad, and the creepy monster, to be honest. This poor child is going to need a lot of help in the future. Okay, we have not gone upstairs yet, and I honestly don't want to. I feel like if you're in a cabin, you just should not go upstairs. If it's haunted, like, just don't do it. Oh, there's a picture of mom and dad by a boat. There's a picture of mom, dad, and baby, or maybe, yeah, that looks like mom. And, and us on the beach? God. Some paintings. Okay. Hello, Mall. How are you? I think. Is this the front room? Did we go in this room? Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Scary monster! Scary monster wants to eat me! Can I hide? I don't know if we can hide from this one. I'm gonna take that as a. Yes. Is that maybe. I guess that could still be Mom, but it doesn't look like a tree. It could be Dad. Do you see it? I'm stuck. Why can't I move? What did it do to me? Why am I stuck? <laughs> Help! Uh, oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, Lord. There's some toys and stuff. Yeah, like, are we gonna learn something scary about dad now? Or is that mom again? Or is dad just looking scary because it's a scary game? I'm gonna try to go upstairs. Please don't come get me. I'm just a baby. It is scary. Oh no, it's locked. So we must have missed something downstairs. Typically when these are locked, you either need a key, but there's no spot for a key. Or you miss something, so we must have missed a room. You restored your Animal Crossing Island. What's your fruit? And uh, what villagers did you get? We'll play Animal Crossing after this so that uh, we have happy vibes. There's more pictures. It's all like pictures of like mom and dad, maybe grandparents, baby. I started this way, I thought. There's that one picture on the wall with the kid's head. That was in our weird, creepy dream thing. Didn't I start this way? Oh no, we're about to get killed. Whenever baby starts panting, I know. No! I hate that! I hate that so much! To the bed, to the bed, to the bed! The baby panting doesn't sound like a baby panting, it sounds like an adult panting. So that's why it freaks me out, because then I think, like, is somebody next to us? But no, it's just us breathing. Ah. <sighs> We have to figure out what we need to do on this floor in order to go upstairs. Whew. Hi, Airbond. How are you? You got peaches, snake, and Ursula. Nice. We obviously missed a room or a toy. This is our bedroom. Did I maybe... I don't think I missed anything in here. Oh, look. That's what we played on TV. Gosh, the detail is so ridiculous. Like, in a good way. 
Oh, you have peaches? Mine is also peaches. Those are just some happy paintings on the wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did everything we could in here. Oh, that's our blanket. I'm like, what is that? There's not anything like in the drawers, right? No. All your islands have had cherries, but now you have peaches. Nice. I like, I don't know. I would have liked maybe apples. I didn't really care what fruit I got though, but now that I have peaches, I wouldn't mind one with apples. Where else it wants us to go? We already were in this room. This is the bedroom. There wasn't any like animals in here because we're obviously saving our animals. Um, we went up there. There was a photo up there. A lot of people hate the pears. It's pretty funny. Did we go in here? Yeah, this is Dad's office. I did not go onto this table though. What's up here? Did I miss something? Just some pens. Notebook. Can I turn this light on? Like, it's just so dark in here. Is there anything in the drawer? No. They're stinky. <laughs> you gonna play decades? Enjoy. Here's papers. Please don't eat me. That is such a not nice sounding noise. Ooh, is this a boat? There's a boat there, some books. It keeps doing that, but I can't tell. Does it just do that maybe when the ghosty thing moves? God, that sound. So this was the front room again. Is that just a wall? Yeah, that's just a wall. Wait. Oh, I know where I am. That was confusing. <laughs> that's the bedroom. That's the... Because our bedroom's over here. No, that's our bedroom. What's this? That goes to the stairs. Minnie heard the squeaking door from the other room. I'm missing something so that, oh. Oh. Oh, not a basement! <laughs> no, no, uh. Not a basement in a log cabin with one lonely swinging light bulb. All right, brace yourself. Something scary bound to happen. <laughs> I'll make it scary. I'll scare the scary. That's our heart beating, isn't it? We're gonna get killed. How could we not get killed? Oh! Mom doing laundry? Oh, it's that black sludge! Oh, lord. Creepy robot. Why is that moving? Oh, it's the light. <laughs> BB Harkum! <laughs> Trying to not make noise, because I assume it's noise driven. We're definitely in the right place. And now it's raining in real life again. Oh, a photo. Mom is sitting. Maybe sad. I don't know what's going on here. Water? Oh. Hi, Lynn. Um, we are in what we presumably think is dad's cabin. 
This is the prologue, so what happened before the four hour story mode we did? I don't know. And there is a creepy scary thingy in here trying to <laughs> kill us. Um, but we're also collecting our stuffed animal friends who are all frozen at the same time. It's been good. Like, I'm impressed. And there's some black sludge here and there might be a jump scare so just brace yourselves. You know, whenever there's a creepy furnace like that, typically you go the other direction. Oh, no, no, walk. That's our toy. That's our toy. Um. Oh! No! Hurry! Light! I do okay, okay, but the scary monster is right here! Lord! It's killing us! Light! The light kills it. The light kills it. We didn't die. freaking out more than the scary stuff honestly it just keeps knocking it off get out of here do i have to work really fast like is it just gonna turn off no matter what because we have to get over to that snow and shut the window <laughs> i'm running i'm making a run for it run baby don't worry that's just my baby asthma Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, we gonna die. Oh, we gonna die. I can't reach the window. <laughs> Let me up. Go. Me and baby inhaler. Jeez. Bubbles? Oh, I fell. No. I didn't know I'd go so fast. <laughs> Don't get us. <laughs> I mean, at this point, this baby would be a zombie. Oh gosh. Let me try this one. Hurry! The controls are not perfect every time. I don't even know where the toy is though. I haven't seen the toy. Okay. Snow melts, where's the toy? Oh lord. We need to get to that. Oh! We're gonna die. It's fine. It's fine. That doesn't that remind you of Home Alone? Yeah. me back in this situation again. Come on, I can't even reach it! It's not fair! What? I'm trying! Do I have to do that all again? No, the snow's gone. This isn't fair! I bet. Oh, come on! Can I hide? <laughs> I'm well, but this is scary. Like, the game itself definitely had scarier parts than this. Oh, our toy's in there. Oh, it's our elephant! Oh, no, it's not. It's a bear. It's fine. I... I don't know how to climb up there. Oh, the crate? Oh, no, 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 scary monster! <laughs> Is the scary monster at this point literally the furnace? The window's still closed, isn't it? Or do I have to reopen it? Or re reclose it? There's no snow. Oh, this stool. No! I 
have to drag the stool across. How am I gonna do that without dying? Do I need to turn on the light and drag the stool? Okay. Okay. Let me start it and then run to the light switch. Do I run or crawl? That's the question. Lock is ticking. The lock is ticking. Oh. Run, 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 run. Come on, baby. Come on, strong. Use your muscles. Ah. Okay. I'm a pro at this game now. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't talk like that. I wonder if we can go upstairs now. Run. Faster, run faster, run faster! Don't fall! It sounded like a horse dying in Minecraft. Oh lord. Oh lord. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I know, I know you have breathing issues. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy eyes under the stairs! Did you see that? <laughs> that noise scared the crap out of me. Oh, God. We're just gonna sit here a second. I thought the prologue would be like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes? This is actually proper gameplay. Oh no. Oh, I see it! If we don't look at it, can it not see us? Ooh, a ball. You know what? I like it here. We'll stay here. I don't really know how this monster works. It works a little bit different than the mom monster. That's why I'm wondering if this is supposed to represent dad because it's working different than the monster from the main game. This is our home now. We just live under the stairs of our balls. Oh, see, it is open. All right. I think there was either five or six toys. So we probably have like one or two more toys to rescue and then that will be the prologue, I'm assuming. And then we'll do the alternate ending, I guess. That's locked. Harry Potter. This is gonna make a scary noise, isn't it? It's not what I expected. Am I supposed to go into that cracked open room? Probably. But I want to see if there's something up here first. I'm scared of the alternate ending too. I made sure not to spoil it for myself. I have not googled anything. Because I wanted to, um... I wanted a, like, real reaction on stream. I assume something's gonna jump out in here. Oh. There's mom as a monster, isn't it? She looks like she's screaming. Like this. Just like that. <laughs> oh, the baby noises. My heart. Is that another open door? Can we just not have all these cracked open doors? I don't like that noise, I don't like that noise. Hi, Paul. I'm scared right now, but other than that, I'm good. Are we in the attic? Do you hear the sad music? Ooh, hold me. Is the monster up here with us too? Our heart's beating. Whenever our heart's beating or we're panting, there's typically a monster nearby. Okay, okay. There's another door. Can we not have doors to doors to doors and attics? What if we shut this door? Why is our heart beating like this? Let me shut the door. Why can't I shut the door? It won't let me shut the door. Wait, Ooh! <laughs> Fine. 
Find a corner, find a corner. Whoa, is there flower wallpaper up here? I don't appreciate the heart beating. Makes my heart beat faster. Probably the point. Um. Playing cards? Bag. It's creepy. I assume we have to go into that door, but I really don't want to. Guys, look! These look like the things in Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop your heart from beating. Only in the, in, in the game heartbeat, thank you. Real life heartbeats keep beating. All right, get ready for a jump scare. I assume we're due for one. Oh, here's another toy. Ready for a creepy voice. Am I just gonna yeet on top? Yeet! Hi. No, 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 no! I lost that one. Does this mean we have to go outside? Do you hear the voices? We in the vents now. Oh, we're gonna be stuck. Watch this thing close behind us. Just wait. Oh no! Dad hit mom! This is tragic. So dad's a monster too? Where's grandma? We're going to grandma's house. Screw these people. They're not good for baby. Oh boy. <laughs> We're the imposter. <laughs> uh, you vented! Pink vented! She was shouting and he was like gonna hit her. There's bottles in here. Cause um, if you missed the main story, I assume if you're here you saw it, but if you didn't cause you don't care if it gets spoiled or whatever, the main story, um, the mom was an alcoholic. And baby gets sent to dad in the end. Oh, yep, here's a picture of dad, like... Dad's in jail! Wait! He's behind bars in that. Is that mom crying? <laughs> tissues. I'll let you make your own assumptions on the tissues. Um... Oh, is that a picture of a baby? Is that a picture of us as a baby? Oh dear lord. <laughs> Said make your own. There's that calendar again all scratched off though. Look at that. What the heck? Mother's breakdancing because dad's in jail. Yeah, that's exactly what that picture was. Oh look, that photo's broken. Wait, let me up here. I want to see the photo. That's it, unicorn. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Come on, physics. It's a picture of them, isn't it? No. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a picture of us with them! <laughs> Somebody save this child. This is the next Step Up movie. Yeah, plot twist. It's not even horror.
Packing? Mom was packing? I hear mom singing. This must be almost the end of the prologue. I thought it'd be like 5, 10, 15 minutes, but this was like a proper hour of gameplay. I hear mom singing. Love, do you know how badly I want to do a dance to this singing now? Could you imagine the creepy contemporary dance you could make? Anyways. I assume we're gonna go into that light and this will be the end of the prologue. Let's see. Like, I just imagine maybe wearing a little white dress, you're barefoot, hair is all raggedy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so mom and dad used to live in this house then, and that new house we were in had boxes in it, so that must have been mom unpacking in her new house. Like the main story. Blood on your hands, chimes in the back, lots of like weird rocking and... You know what, I have a dance that it's making me think of by Jordan Jones. I'll have to see if it's still on YouTube and send it to you. You can imagine it too. Whoa, 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 don't show me things when I'm not here. Okay, so the house is being packed. So now we're seeing what the house actually looks like. Mom packed all of the things. I assume it's gonna let us go out the door or something. There you go. There you go. Mom moved out, and those must have been custody papers of the baby to mom until dad got baby back later. Which it makes, the, makes sense for the ending we saw, dad got baby back. And it's gonna let us out the door. This is so well done. Whoa, it doesn't let you back in when you leave. What is this? A bow? Why does that look like Hello Kitty's bow? Who murdered Hello Kitty? <sighs> they lived in a cabin? That's my biggest free fear? Like living in the woods? Who did it? Who killed her? Oh, this must be our last toy, isn't it? This snow is trippy. Please. It must be our last toy. This makes me feel like I'm moving, but I'm not. Imagine living in the woods, someone could be looking through your window and you wouldn't even know it'd be so dark and creepy. Oh, it's our bunny that fell! I got you, buddy! He's the one who got stuck outside the wind- <gasps> Don't touch me! And that's where mom takes you home, and that goes into the actual story. That's a good prologue. Alright, we don't need to watch these credits. Let's go do the alternate ending now. So the prologue is about an hour of gameplay, and the story was four hours, so that's five hours. Are we gonna assume that this next one is an hour or maybe it's shorter? Let's see. We'll finish it off and then uh, then we'll go into some happy vibes. It's called Museum, but when I searched up what that was without letting me read enough to spoil it, it was apparently the alternate ending. I guess this game was originally gonna have a not happy ending and I think this is it, but I'm not positive. Don't spoil it if you know, cause like I want it to be a surprise, but. The mom's humming is so creepy. Hold on, let me see if I have that YouTube video. Um, I wanna... Is that still up? The 
fact that I remember the name I do. All right, I can't like keep playing the song on here. Ah, uh, here you go. This is specifically for love. I haven't watched this in a long time, but it popped into my head when I heard that song. Anyone can watch that. I can't watch it on stream just because uh, the music is copyright. But that, I was just thinking that dance to that song, the mom's humming. Can I, is there, I wonder if there's a YouTube video of the mom's humming. Could I play it to this dance? Let me see. Uh, Among the Sleep Mom's Lullaby. I want to see if it like mixes like I think it would. Among the Sleep Mom's Lullaby. Oh, that's a cover. Is this the full version? Oh my gosh. All right, I'll show you the dance, not to the original music. This is not me. This is Jordan Jones. If you don't know who Jordan Jones is, um, she's like famous now, but she used to be a dancer. And I actually met her at a dance competition. I don't have my screen share. And then we'll do the alternate ending. I just want to see this. I want to see if it actually mixes. Screen share? Let's see. Hold on. Like, it popped into my head. And I haven't watched this in years. Creepy. That 2009 potato quality, though. That's what I was em envisioning, though. We'd make it so much creepier. She's jump roping. You got goosebumps. I wish it was in better quality, but this is from 2009. She was in Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, yes. Yep. Yeah, she used to live in Michigan, and her mom had a studio in Michigan, so we'd be at competitions together. Like such a cool dance. It's like a little child dancing to the hum of her evil mother. Bro. <laughs> Hi, Castle. God, we could make such a cool dance. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's one of my favorite dances. Like, the fact that it's still in my head it proves that <laughs> it's still there. A teddy bear? If Yeah, you could do an Among the Sleep Hole inspired dance and have Teddy. Like a remake of Teddy or a very similar one. Ah. Oh. That'd be so good. <laughs> you couldn't hear this in your nightmares. <laughs> okay, all right, back, back. Okay, we're gonna do the alternate ending, which I assume is gonna be dark and scary, but I really don't know. She's 21 now. She is. Yeah. She grew up. I don't know how it happened. 
because I still see her as a little baby. Not literally a baby, but like that age. Oh, uh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna get carried away. Museum scene. Or like, part. Oh, my game's not popping up. Come on, game. Why does it do this when I switch scenes? The only way I fixed this last time was reopening the game. Let me reopen the game. La 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 la. <laughs> Spooky. The game won't close. That might be the issue I'm having. End. Okay. La 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 la. Stuck in my head too. Launching. <laughs> The intro is really loud. All right, pop up on, on, there we go, there we go. The intro is so loud! There we go. I still see her as like 12 as well, because I think I met her when I was 14 or 15, and she's a few years younger than me. I'm scared of this ending as well. Should I go pee first? I might. I might go run and pee real quick. Here, I'll just leave it on this scene. Let me just turn my camera off. I won't even do full on BRB. Everyone go pee real quick. This might be real scary. I don't know. Where's my camera? Go grab a drink. Go pee. It'll take like a second. We right back. Okay. All right. Is everybody back? <laughs> no potties in your pants, please. Well, I don't know how long this part will be. If it's another hour, I was like, mm, I don't really want to stop in the middle. Mom, thank you for the bits. Three hundo. Have a little cracker real quick. Get ready. Watch this one only be like five minutes, right? We're all amped up. <laughs> Five minutes. I assume it will be in like 30 minutes to an hour. If the prologue was an hour. Oh, hi, Minnie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're so ready to end in two minutes. <laughs> that was creepy. Oh, don't tell me I broke the game again. Nope, all right. Museum, let's do this. Let's do it. La 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 la. Are we supposed to get more storms? La. Oh no, you finished your Cheez-Its? That's a shame. Chance of rain. More. We're supposed to get another thunderstorm. <laughs> Let's do it. Excuse me? Where am I? Teddy! This is creepy. Is 
mama here? She is. Do you need her? Says the moon. Problems buying a sub stream crashes. Each time you try, never bought one before. Was always lucky to get one, so you don't know what you're doing wrong. <laughs> That's weird. Stream crashes when you try to buy a sub. I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna click one. I don't know if this is just like if we actually play something or if it's a story thing. Hey, and welcome to Teddy's grand, uh, I mean, the museum of Among the Sleep. Um. Go on, take a look around. Okay. This might just be a movie thing. Hey, and welcome to Teddy's okay. grand, uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Okay. Radio? Go on. Take a look around. Am I just set in the mood? Oh, it's like a full-on, like, proper museum. Contents. This is the art? The birth- oh, do we want to read all this? Hold on. Wait, we might actually learn from this. Maybe we should. Oh gosh, it's very loud. Wait, I'm interested now. Hold on. Pause that. That's so loud. Is there more upstairs before I do anything? Is that, like, gonna give us all the extra info if we read that? Because I will read it to you like a storybook. Let me see what's upstairs before we do that. Because that will take some time. Oh, whoa. Is this gonna be all the photos? Whoa. We'll come back to that book. You're drawing, why do people have lips? Dude, I don't know. I can imagine they're very difficult to draw. Teddy? Do you know that you can collect hidden drawings throughout the game? I do, I tried to find them. If you do, they will appear here in this room. Oh, I have to get them all? Oh. There might even be a reward if you can find them all. A reward? Guys, we gotta go back! <laughs> oh! We gotta go back and find every single one! <laughs> yeah, I do want to take a peek at them now that we know the story. Oh. Yeah, maybe try restarting your PC or your browser. What browser are you using? So this... So I figured out that... Let's look at them again. Hold on. So that must be mom and dad and, um, it kind of looks like a demon. I don't know if that's supposed to be us or if I, I'm not really sure. I still don't know all these photos. I think maybe the book that we need to read downstairs, maybe that has the alternate ending. In it, maybe we just read what could have happened. So that's us with one of our toys. That might be Teddy. That's the sad swing set with the scary monster. It might just be a museum. When I briefly read what the museum was online, it said something about an alternate ending and then I closed it. Because I didn't want to spoil it, so I only assumed. So that's mom being angry at dad and like dad attacking mom basically. Probably similar thing here. Us sad and alone on a swing set or something. That's us hiding under a table from the scary monster, which we figured out was our mom. This is just us very sad. Um, when I say us, I mean the baby, since we are the baby. That was the scary tree monster, which ended up being mom. S scary tree mom monster. I don't really know what's happening here. Is that when we were locked in a box or something weird? Who drew these? Lost in the forest? I think that's like us and Teddy, maybe. 
Like, see, now that I've played the whole game and we've done all the alternate stuff and all the separate stuff, I want to go on YouTube because I bet there's people who sit there and, like, analyze these photos and know exactly what they mean and what they are and what they represent. That's us hiding under a table, I believe, all the chairs. I have no idea what's happening in that photo. There's our elephant. Oh, is that our room? Kind of looks like a rug. Yeah, because at first, when we first started playing it, I d wasn't even looking at the photos. I just thought we were collecting them and that they didn't mean anything. That's the one where it looks like Dad is in... That's the couch in that room, isn't it? On the couch. And those are supposed to be like bottles drinking and then he's in jail or something. That's mom and baby happy. That's the scary monster, but very scary. That's us very sad. Something scary here. And then our teddy or our elephant. This one we thought was like a house fire before, but I honestly still don't know. I don't know why all those drawings are in the house. Because it's more than three. Us in a few weeks will be like, all right, welcome back to my Among the Sleep Deep in Psychology stream. Today, <laughs> we are looking at photos. That's us with our elephant. Oh, that could be the cabin. And that's that was a scary tree monster because that was from that scene. That was one of the bridges, I think. This baby's going to need some help. That's us uh, hiding from mom. That's us sad in the forest with the scary mom. Takes a whole stream to analyze one pic. I, uh, could you imagine if you were a psychologist or something? You could really go dive in deep with these. That's just scary mom. That's us hiding and like covering our head. And I think that's one of our toys. Now this one's happy. So this was all our friends we just saved. That's us happy with all of our toys. That was the prologue. This was from the prologue where it looked like mom was drinking with bottles and had her head on her, or hands on her head and dad looks like he's full on in jail. This one we just saw as well. We were trying to figure it out. Because some of them are like color coded and you can tell who's who and then some of them the colors are changed. Like, that's someone sitting on a chair, which must be dad. And then that's mom with the laundry. Which we did see that scene. Maybe these are the therapy pics from the child. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I assume this is slightly based on a real story since it's in honor of somebody who died. I haven't read into it, though, because I didn't want to spoil anything. But now I will. That's them yelling and the child hiding. That's the dad giving the child to mom. And then that's mom, like full on freaking out spoilies okay let's go look at the book i'll read the book to you assuming it's interesting hi kim we did the prologue and then this is the museum wait can we get through there i think there might be more whoa there's more rooms than i thought They do. A lot of therapists for kids will have them draw. The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after release of the game. Oh? It was made in collaboration with some of our fans and made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. Oh? That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough and neither of the parents handled it well. Wow. Okay, Teddy. What is this room? This is so creepy, but so cool. Can I play the piano? Darn it, I just wanted to check. Okay, what's over here? It is based off a real story, that's what I figured. Is this more art from the game? Oh, wow. It's all like the concept art and stuff. Cool. Oh, heck. What's this? Can I move this? 
Do I plan to play any other spooky games? I think I will since I enjoyed this one so much. But I still don't think I'd be able to handle like true horror. You know? If it's on the realm of how scary this one was, I can definitely handle more, but... Not like, I don't know. Not like full-on horror M-rated. We wanted to approach the prologue chapter differently than the rest of the game by making the environment open instead of a linear path. The players are free to explore the house in the order and pace they chose them choose themselves. Oh, are these all the same photos? Yeah, they are. Layers of fear? How scary is it? What's this? Is this just all the toys from the game? Literally like a museum? This is so cool. There's the pipe! Yeet! Okay. There's the clock. Oh. These screenshots taken from the old house back when the project was our bachelor thesis in school. The idea behind the layout was pretty much similar but had a few deviations from the current one. Whoa. Yeah, I would play Phasmo, but only like with people. That's so cool! Hi, Teddy. Oh, you're home. Hi. That's the team it. wanted oh. to start with introducing the so character wild. of the mother, as well as the mechanics of the game. Starting with the kid's birthday was a way to both introduce Teddy in the form of a gift and showing how old the kid is. It's a good one. Do you have when more to say? When falls oh. over the home, is when you really start seeing the ways in which the child perceives reality while scared. A large part of the game is based on how children see and interpret what's happening around them. Tell me more. That was it? Okay. Look at these nice computer museum objects. Oh, there's more. My gosh, this is cool. One of our initial concept images, we think it communicates the premise of the game really well. Not in your face, scary, or threatening, but the eerie atmosphere created by combining innocent children's themes and the unsettling dark. They definitely did a good job with that. Because, yeah, like, it didn't terrify the crap out of me, but I definitely had my moments. The second one is very scary. The first one has the same vibe. I'd be interested. There's our toys. It was very unsettling, but like you want to know more. I was more attached to this story than the fact that I might be scared. Another old concept piece from the year, excuse me. Can you uh, move? From the year we prototyped the game back in school, this one from the living room shows both the moonlit mood and the general interior style of the house. We drew these types of concepts back, or before making the house in 3D in order to get a sense of what we wanted the house to look like and make the modeling process faster. That's so cool. Says those photos again. Hi, Danielle. How are you? We played the prologue of this game, and now we're in the museum of it, which basically just tells you about the game. If we played Phasmo, I'd have to... It would not be family-friendly, because I would probably swear as well. I'm shocked I didn't end this game. I almost did, though. Remember? I caught myself. <laughs> Holy shit! That's hysterical. This is the very first concept image for Among the Sleep. Back then, the project was a little bit different and not as clearly defined. <laughs> Hence, the focus was more on the physical monsters and a more adventure game type feel. This image was drawn from the inspiration of the exact idea that gave birth to the concept. We're literally breathing when we look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna do some Googling of that as well, Kara. And like, I'll be delving deep into it. Okay, let's go back to this room. You had a rough day at work? That's no fun. I'm doing good. I'm really sad this game is over, though. Gotta say. Oh, it's getting spooky in here. Hello. The playground. Yes, the playground. Tell me more. There's something walking around here, but you never see it. I know! The passive threat keeps you on your toes. It was awful! And at the same time, creates the illusion that you might be safe. I thought I was, and the then the rest of the game was terrifying. <laughs> Did 
machete. Dark wing folds under the light part. What's this? I don't remember a bird in the game. No evil laughs from you, Teddy. Oh, an early idea for this chapter was that it would feel like a surreal in-between world where you could see other dimensions through openings in the walls and bits of them would seep in. This is amazing. So much thought into a game. That was really cool. Love you, Teddy. We scrapped that idea and focused more on the rather lonely and creepy elements of playgrounds, wanting to communicate that the kid had traumatizing memories of being left alone in a playground and subject to the terror of older kids. Oh! I didn't- I didn't even catch that, that the kid would have been left alone in a playground. That's what one of those photos was, the drawing. Where the kid's just on a swing alone. Well, now I'm afraid of playgrounds, thank you. <laughs> That is really deep. I didn't- I didn't even catch that one. Oh, look at all the light. Alright, no need to scare me in the museum over there. This was the playground fixtures. Oh, that's so cool. That is why he was so scared of it. Because he was left alone in it. That makes sense. Did Teddy drink too? He's scaring me. The cave chapter has been through a lot of- iteration since the start of the project one thing that has remained the same is that there would be a castle to ascend to in order to get to the end and that there would be a musical rainbow colored bridge that bridge was so cool the shape and look of the castle itself has changed several times as we had many different plans for the overall gameplay and it morphed along with these changes yeah that was that was the creepy castle-y thingy and the rainbow bridge that was so cool it was a xylophone bridge this Oh, that's amazing. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I said we don't need more scary noises. Listen! Thank you. Uh, these are examples of another technique that we use quite often. We take screenshots of the environments and our concept artist draws details and effects like lighting on top of them. This is a very cheap way to find out how we want the visuals to end up before starting to produce assets. This is so cool! Oh, I'm learning things. Early sketches of different ideas for layout, environment, details, and lighting. So much goes into a game. Like this, put it this way, without the prologue, this was only a four hour long game. And they had to do all of this. Like, that's just so amazing. Because I wouldn't even know where to begin. That is so cool. There's that giant owl. Hold on, I didn't look at this wall. Or wait. Oh yeah, I didn't read this one. In an early iteration of the chapter, we had a huge tree that the players would have to climb in order to get to the memory in the castle instead of climbing the tower. The tree was hollow and was covered with drawers on the outs inside walls, and the gameplay idea was that you had to create a stairway by opening drawers while climbing them. This is an example of a situation where an idea seems really cool until you make it and try it out. It turned out to be way too cumbersome and frustrating, so we scrapped it. We still really love the idea, though. I think if the game was supposed to be harder, they could have done that, though. Because overall, the actual gameplay mechanics weren't difficult. Like, a younger child could figure them out, if that makes sense. There was very few true puzzles. This would have been cool. But I think that wasn't their point. Their point was to focus on the actual, like, story. Yeah, I have ideas, but I don't know how to implement them. That's that bird. Was there a bird in this game somewhere? I don't remember the bird. Alright, I think I read everything in here. Let's go to the next room. Excuse me! Can I move this? Okay, that's not- No! Stop making noises in the museum! I was hoping I could get on top of there. This museum's huge! 
Hello. This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. The house here is a symbol of the family and home falling apart. The bloated creature inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. I didn't put that two and two with the house falling apart thing, but that makes sense. But I did, we did figure out the mother thing, obviously. Oh, jeez. The stump tunnel was unwrapped in ZBrush. Never again. Let's say we're happy a lot of the game is dark. You guys want to go play? Could you imagine if this took us into another part of the game? Like, plot twist, there's the alternate ending. <laughs> it just sends you. Woo, we can run so fast in here. <gasps> We're floating! Ow. Okay. Um, let me- let me read the walls. To begin with, this world was supposed to change form as a result of the puzzles being solved. It would go from a house being just slightly overgrown in places to being completely overgrown and rotting away. There was a bunch of narrative and gameplay reasons for abandoning this idea, but equally important was the fact that it would require us to build two fully separate environments, easily doubling the workload, so we settled on a static mix of these states instead. I thought it was really cool. This um, part of the game was so trippy, though. Like, because things were there, but they weren't there, and it was crumbling. It was weird. Those are all the same photos. Okay. What's over here? Alright. These are some of the first concepts trying out the idea of a transformation in the environment. The map showing before and after. That's so nuts. Ooh. Wow. That's so cool! Concept showing both mood and the idea of the forest consuming the house. That area was very scary. And that stupid tree thing just kept coming for me all the time. No matter what I did. <laughs> In the bridge! That one stupid bridge! Oh, the bathtub. Oh my goodness. Some assets and module design paired with early screenshot paintovers. It's, it is insane how much detail went into it. That's amazing. Fog limit. Player path. Water edge. Like just all the thing. Look at that. That's so cool. The boxes. Wow. That's amazing. What's this wall? Ooh! Lots of text. These images are concept sketches from the painting room, the central hub where you place the puzzle pieces that you find throughout the third chapter. Initially, the idea was to use a golden egg or other artifact to get through a magical door. The players first had to solve a puzzle that would transform the environment of the whole area from a house to a forest so that they could get a hold of the egg that was previously too high for the child to reach. A further iteration of the painting room where solving the puzzle was leading to the chandelier falling and breaking the floor open into a huge chasm, leading to the players being able to obtain the golden egg. That sounds crazy. Oh, during creating this, we had, or we took a few steps back and saw that this whole sequence wasn't based on the child's experiences and was feeling more like a generic puzzle for an adventure game. Therefore, the idea was ended up in the bin. That makes more sense for why the game is so simple then, because they were trying to take a child's experiences who's only two. Another ang or another take on the puzzle was to untangle an armor from. Why can't I read that? It's so was to untangle an armor from the roots blocking the door. Oh, that's from that photo. Yeah, that makes sense, because a golden egg in that story, yeah, we would have been like, what the heck is this? Why are we getting a golden egg? But instead it was like, even in the prologue, which they made after, we were looking for child's toys. Like it's always about the child, just it makes the creepy story in. Wow! 
When the scene is white box and the general layout is set, we do rough black and white sketches or paint overs to articulate the areas in a bit more detail. Since the mood style and assets are more or less defined by earlier concepts, we don't need to spend time coloring. From here, we usually iterate within the scene and only draw examples when we need to. I know, Kara. It is scary. Unfortunately, stuff like this probably happens way more than we want to even know. I came from that room, so we need to go to this room. <laughs> this was the really scary part. This this part of the game was terrifying. Teddy, what do you have to For say? For each world the player goes through, the environment illustrates more and more the yeah, jumbling together of memories. And this place is a direct illustration of that mess. Yeah. Most prominently, it's framed by the memory the child has from trying to hide in closets That's or what I figured. any nook it can find. Which is terrifying. The monster in this place represents the mother when she is angry. It comes out when the kid is making a mess. Yeah, because whenever we knock something over, it would try to murder us. It did murder us a million times. Oh, my favorite part of the game? I don't know. I'd have to really think about it. I don't know. I want to play it again. A key element of this chapter was the claustrophobic feeling of narrow hallways covered with closet doors and being trapped within these. We wanted to have lots of different objects everywhere that could play tricks on your perception of them in dim lighting. This was the scariest part of the whole game. It did. It felt way more, like, messed up and the memories were crazy and the monster was scarier than the monster was before. And if we made any noise or knocked anything over, it would come for us and you had to hide. And ironically, the places we had to hide were scary because it was random, like, holes and stuff. We didn't know it was in there. But it was less scary than the monster, which is totally what the child was feeling. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then all the beer bottles, let alone, were everywhere. Um, so it was really easy to knock them over. Oh, look at the little kid and oh. My mind is also blown. Uh, the star door has always been a central part of this chapter. That part was ridiculous. And has adapted and changed along the way with the many iterations of layout and other changes made during production. That that was one of the hardest parts. That star door. Which makes sense because it was one of the last ones. Or oh, are these all separate? That's so crazy. How are people good at art? I don't know. And these stupid jackets scared the crap out of me the whole game. Because I always thought it was somebody. Oh no, the mother's in there. So today I took you all to the museum. Hope you're enjoying your trip. These are so scary. Like, I want to go back and explore that whole scene. Because I'm sure there's so much we missed. What's under there? More paint overs of screenshots to figure out how I wanted the visuals to end up. These are made after implementing simple white box geometry of the level. That's so crazy. It's just, it's all art. And then they bring it to life. Don't spoil anything, Kara. I'm still learning. I know we played the game, but... We're, we're learning still. Most things in the game has changed a lot from the beginning of development, but one idea that persisted from when we started planning this chapter was a hallway with flickering lights where a coat would appear and reappear in the distance. Here, seen with an early concept, two blockout phases, and the final. That was awful. I hate it. I hated that. I hate it. <laughs> At one point during development, there was plans to have a boss battle with Heap, the coat monster, found in this chapter. The child was supposed to be trapped in a room with it and had to remain hidden while solving a puzzle to be able to escape. Okay, that would have been really cool. That would have been uh, super cool, but terrifying. Okay, next room. Should I go through whatever this is? Does this take us over there or somewhere different? Oh, this takes you back. Oh, that's hysterical. Let's go back to the other room. Okay. <clears throat> Even the museum is coolly designed. Like, what the heck? 
This room has the scary monster figures. I hate them. Teddy! Oh god, I- Who? Teddy, tell me what's going on in this room. Oh, there you have it, me. Or old me. As now, I'm just a floaty version in your memory, of course. Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Some are not used, and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate them. Obfuscate. That's a new word. Okay. Teddy, what were you going to be? Excuse me? All right, let's read. Oh, no. All right, let's read about Teddy. Now, this one is an old relic. The story and... The story and particularly how the game ended was very different in the early days of production. Back then, Teddy was the antagonist of the game. The story was that the broken family, here's our alt ending, situation made the child vulnerable and an evil entity, a monster disguised as a friendly teddy bear, took advantage of this by tricking the child onto a dangerous adventure far away from home. That's what it felt like, to be honest. During production, we realized that we had the choice to either make a typical and predictable horror story, which is what we assumed, or to focus all of the attention on the family situation. Serious topics like these aren't much talked about in video games, and we felt compelled to make a creative game around this as we saw the potential to make a much more meaningful story. We scrapped this idea along with a whole chapter and did huge reworks to many parts of the game to make it all come together more neatly. Yeah, it felt like it in the beginning. Yeah, it felt like the teddy bear was bad, and we wanted to go find mom to get away from the teddy bear. Um... But that's what it won like that would have been what we would assume and they did it the other way designing teddy was a key moment of narrowing down the style having a very dem i thought this a demonic democratic process to begin with we all voted for the teddy we liked best and ended up with a look that was fairly close to the current one we wanted teddy to feel like a cozy warm and friendly companion almost grandfather like while hinting at the fact that this was the father's beloved teddy Oh, it was the dad's teddy bear that he had kept patching up and taking care of from his childhood. It was dad's teddy. Like, I knew dad gave it to him, but I didn't know it was his. Aww. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's the teddy we know. And then that's the teddy if teddy was evil. I, I'm kind of glad he wasn't evil. Even though it was predictable that way. Okay, this thing is so scary. Codename Harold is the first monster we created for the game. This was way back when the overall direction was skewed towards a more adventure game. As seen in the very first concept drawing made for the project, Harold was intended to be a physical monster in the first chapter. This worked well as a proof of concept in the demo we made, but during production we realized that it really takes time to build suspense, which is crucial to in making monsters feel appropriate and impactful. He's very creepy. Harold. Concept. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hello, Zeep. I appreciate the lurk. We're looking at the museum of Among the Sleep. This is that creepy coat monster. This is Heap, the coat monster found in the fourth chapter. The whole idea of the chapter is how scary ordinary objects can be in certain situations when you don't see them clearly. Literally. We think everyone can relate to having seen the silhouette of something in a dark room and gradually becoming more and more terrified as our imagination does its magic. Uh-huh. We applied this directly to the monster when designing it and decided to use a coat as it very much resembles the shape of a person or humanoid creature. That's why there was coats everywhere. I am cute. Look. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> I can relate, literally. Wow, that's creepy but really cool. I don't like that this one's moving. That's the scary mom that killed us 5,000 times. I am cute. Haida is the swap mon swap swamp monster found in the third chapter of the game. We wanted to build a creature around the themes of what might be hiding in forest lakes, which is very related to eerie folklore and children's stories we were told growing up. This also allowed us to touch on themes of alcohol without being too obvious about it. We did this in indirect ways, like the painting of a woman drinking from the well. 
That was supposed to be alcohol related? I was thinking of the well lady from a different show. <laughs> we did this in indirect... Oh, ooh, sorry. And turning into a monster and giving in to a lot of gurgling and wet breathing sounds. Or giving it. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. I am not here watching the first VOD. Bye. <laughs> oh. Yeah, those sounds were really creepy. It's all come together now. Like, playing, if we truly played this again all the way through we would catch so much more of the story and the sounds and stuff here's the creepy mom oh i didn't know we could actually is that just the photos on the wall oh yeah it is um the mother was one of the first characters that we designed her 3d model was remade and tweaked a few times but overall she has remained very similar throughout the entire production the blueprint and model renders is how she looked when it was still the school project the goal of her design was always to find a look of loving kindness and care for her despite her personality transformation and neglect she never stopped loving her child well it's true, like, while she was creepy, she also looked sweet at the same time. Like, you wanted to be on her side, because in the beginning, we wanted to find the mom, right? And, like, we couldn't, we didn't know if we were supposed to trust Teddy or the mom. So they did a good job with that. Ah, oh, it's so cool seeing all the objects out of the game, but, like, we're still in the game. What the heck are you? One idea for Teddy was that he could equip items that granted him abilities. Some of those were a dragon mask that made him breathe fire, a sword he could fight with, a mage's hat gave him spells, and a wristband great strength. Wait, that would have been so cool. Oh, that's terrifying. Creatures? What in the world? Oh, that's his, his things. Teddy gun. Sleep. What's this one called? Hello? I'm trying to see. Zoom in. Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. Look at that thing. I don't remember that in the game. These are all creatures that were designed very early in production. There was a, a sudden decision to cut these from the game. They all naturally phased out. Oh, okay. As we gradually shifted the game's genre from an adventure game with horror elements into what the game is today, which is kind of the exact opposite. So these would have been in the game if it was more horror-filled. Interesting. What world did these rejected creatures inhabit? What, what, what? We have to crawl through there too? This museum's huge! Oh my! <gasps> this is so cool! I feel like I'm on a trip, like, at, to a real museum. The core concept of the furnace monster Hans is similar to that of Heap. We wanted to create something terrifying out of an ordinary object. A child might see glowing eyes and a huge mouth on the front part of the wood furnace, so we ex exaggerated this bit and made the whole furnace become alive. Yeah, that scared the crap out of me. Not gonna lie. Here's our little friends. That is so cool. What if all games had little museums like this? There's our toys. Okay, we'll go into the next room. And then that room's a separate room, it looks like. Oh, Lord. Imagine if this was your school project submission, right? Here it is. Ah, my favorite place. I felt we really connected here, you know? Me too. A bit of a breather between the various bad, nightmarish it's worlds true, I liked we went this to. Room. Also, I was able to talk a lot here. As elsewhere, the developers were concerned about keeping the tension up. And didn't want me to say too many things. That's why you never spoke. Also, I kind of get quiet when scared. Aww. So it's okay and all. But I liked best the times we had to catch up. I'm not crying. I really, I really learned to like Teddy. Wow. Concept art is neato. 
That's creepy. Represents feelings. Oh. Put him in here, slurp. <laughs> oh, look at the old concept art of the room. Oh, instead of the machine, then it was like you put him in a pot? Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I love that we can still like open everything in the museum. Can I go through here? Where does this take me? Oh! I, I don't wanna go in there yet. Let's go back to the other room. <laughs> I don't wanna miss any rooms. This is where the creatures would have inhabited, it said. I wonder if that takes us to that room anyways. Whoa, oh my demon baby. A world that was cut before we did anything more than concepts and rough white box block out was a life-size dollhouse with a myriad of creepy dolls stalking you in the dark? <gasps> that would have been so cool! And terrifying, because I like dolls. Um, what? Our first environments reflected more of an adventure or quest, exploring an ominous and threatening world, yet more whimsical. Behind the house was a forest. The forest led to a meadow. The meadow into a thorny jungle with odd, one-eyed monkey-looking things out to get you if you didn't stay in the light of the luminescent mushrooms. Under... I'm trying to make sure I don't miss text. Now look at the photos. Under the forest waited an underworld of tunnels made by giant worms and great halls of crystals guarded by rock giants. And then... Okay. Let's look at the photos then. Oh, those, those aren't clickable ones. Wait, can I not click these ones? Okay, you just have to look at them then. So this is all the worlds they cut. That baby. Could you imagine seeing that baby behind us? I would have bloody murdered screamed. Like, <laughs> That's creepy. That would have been so cool. Oh, creepy spider baby. Wow. So does this take us into the room that we were going to go into anyways? Kind of looks like it, or is this separate? Is this separate? Oh, it does. It, it matches. Okay. Let's go back to the other room then. Baby's still panting. Baby's like, am I done yet? This is awful. Get me out of here. Oh, 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 this is nice. Oh, is this going to be about that scene? This is the reveal. Yeah. This is where you see your mother for what she is. Yeah, that scared the, the crap out of me. player gets to connect the various monsters and sights through the game. Yeah. I was there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Can you turn the light on? I'm trying to see the figures. Welcome to the world that bit the dust. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. Oh, no. So that's the room we just came from, right? Yeah. Okay. Was the monster gonna, like, cook us? Jeez. Flappy lid, pile of toys, all boilers connect to main pipe. Pressure, dials, control panel, elevator. Fear canister, boiler, condenser. Jeez. It's too bad that this company didn't make another game like this game with all of the concepts they scrapped, it f or scrapped from this game, you know? Because with all the stuff they took out, they could have made a whole nother horror game. This elevator is an example of sadly wasted time since we scrapped everything and it is designed to be a fully functional steam-powered elevator in theory at least. Yeah, could you imagine a whole dollhouse horror game? Like, yeah, it'd be terrifying, but it could be really good. Oh, I guess I should listen to Teddy. Hold on. Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. 
you did not really find her, and the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamlands. Oh. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story. I could see Especially that. the playtesters were confused as the story ended without you seeing your mom again. That makes sense. I see why they scrapped that. Your cat's looking at me? You know, a lot of people say their cats watch my streams. I think cats like me. These are concepts that showcase the mood and feel of what we wanted the last chapter of Among the Sleep to look like. The core idea was brass and bronze pipes and tubes lit up uh, by fires on rocky surfaces surrounded by completely pitch black darkness and void. There was also supposed to be a lot of machinery leading up to the old ending where the child would end up in a cauldron deceived and tricked by the evil antagonist? There's your alternate ending. <laughs> that would have been a completely different game. Oh. So, yeah, so the alternate game and ending and stuff is if Teddy was evil and it, it basically the whole game would trick you into being eaten by monsters. And instead they focused on the actual story of the child and made it a much more cerebral game, honestly. Old sketches for the layout and structure of the scrapped sixth chapter. Gosh, they seriously could make like a whole nother game of this. All right, where do we need to go next? Why is this blocked off? <gasps> Which way am I supposed to go? They're all blocked off. I guess we'll go this way first. This way was much less predictable because the whole time we were playing, like, yeah, we kind of realized, like, okay, that monster's probably the mom, and yeah, there must have been drinking involved, but we weren't really sure what the game even wanted us to do, but in a good way, it kept us on our toes. And like, like it was saying, some spots made you feel safe and like that the game wasn't going to be scary from there on out and then it would get scarier and freak you the heck out and then it'd feel safe again and you'd be back to where you were with Teddy and like oh gosh not like when the lights turn off why does all the steam powered copper filled steampunky nonsense relate to you ask oh what does it sorry words are hard well Proceed to the old ending of Among the Sleep. Wait! I want to see the other side first! <laughs> oh, does this just take you back? <laughs> ah! God! <laughs> the child fell. It's fine. <laughs> I hate when the child falls! <laughs> Alright, that's where we started. Okay, let's go see the alternate ending. She's gonna fall again. Ready? <laughs> that's scary when you're not expecting it. <laughs> okay. Now let's see our alternate ending. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> it's been almost a year since decades, I know. Teddy? You look a little different over here. Now here is something truly special. Want to see what the game almost was at some point? Yes. This is an old version of the story's conclusion, and it's been something we have not shown anybody except a few testers in the early days. You might say here, I got to have more fun than in the original ending. <laughs> Come in and see. Teddy? Let me have a Cadbury egg first, all right? Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Teddy, no. Stop that. <laughs> all right, let's see what the alternate ending was supposed to be. Is it going to, like, show us, or... Do we get to play? Is it a movie? What's happening? We get to play the alternate ending! It's not just a museum. I don't know if it's long, but we get to at least see it. This would have been a completely different game. Teddy? I don't trust that Teddy. This is the cauldron ending. Are our toys like 
Stuck there? Teddy is floating. Can I get out? Can I get out of here? Hi, Dino Nuggies. How are you? Is this going to be creepy or maybe? There's a giant spoon. It's basically everything we just read in the museum and saw the alternate pictures of of what could have happened. Am I supposed to be able to get out? I can't tell. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello? <laughs> Hi! Uh. I already swallowed, we're good. Oh no! This is what the game would have ended like? It's so loud! Oh, we going in the cauldron now. It's okay, we're all here with you. Um, can I get out now? <laughs> This is awful. Oh, yes. Extraordinary. Like the fact that this is the, what they were thinking of at first, and then what it actually was, completely different. <laughs> round and round and round. He does look like Jack. I was thinking that too. Places it gave me Tim Burton vibes. In. That's a big old spoon. Five little animals animals My elephant! A snail that dreams Do not touch of climbing him. trees. Him's my friend. But never I will. hate you. Dinner time. A hungry, starving hippo whose gummies are red and her best friend seagull lying lifeless and dead. And now, for the main ingredient. Me! Thank you. You did very well. I will enjoy you very much. Oh, Lord! We tasty. <laughs> um. Uh-huh. So this would have been the ending, you just die? Kick him in the head. It won't let me. I can't move. I think we're in the pot. Wow. I am glad the game didn't end like that. That would have been a completely different game. Uh, close your eyes. Or close your eyes. Close your ears if you don't want the original ending spoiled. Oh, wait. I don't want to do it again. Oh, crap. Did I just die? I just realized it's a pacifier. Um, the original ending. <laughs> what did I just do? The original ending. Again, close your ears. I mean, if you're here, you probably already played it or you don't care. Or you watched it. But, um, they, the dad picks up the child. You go to the door and the dad's there to pick you up and he fixes Teddy. And it's a happy ending. Well, it's kind of happy. Because now that we know the prologue, we know that dad was never in the right either. But mom was an alcoholic. So, okay, okay, okay. Continue story. Yeah, so it's like the original ending kind of left you like, huh. Am I just... Is that it? Oh. Where am I? Oh, we're back. So that was the whole museum part. And then there's this book. Is this everything we kind of read, though? Oh, it's just... A whole lot more detail. 
I kind of want to read it. It's a lot, though. Well, I guess there's a lot of photos in there. It's not that much reading. I'm going to read it. I'm invested in this story. I'm Hello. sorry. <laughs> You're mad at LaBelle. Uh. What am I hearing? <laughs> I'm done with the spooky sound. Is this playing? That's not even playing. Turn it off, scary noises. Wait. Welcome to Teddy's Grand, uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Am I gonna die if I jump in here? I think I will. Go on, take a look around. Oh, I can walk. Throw Teddy in the water. I, was that supposed to be the end of what just happened? Because that's all the same. Okay, I was trying to look at the book. Take the teddy bear, chuck him in the water. Alright, let me get back over there. I want to look at the book. I'm invested. I'm so mad there's no sequel. I want to know more! That was the upstairs we already went to. Yeah, okay. Since we did all the fun stuff, let's take a look at the book. And then I guess we're done with this game. Sad. Is it? There we go. Wow. You want a game with that horrible skeleton thing? It's just for real. <laughs> this just has more info about everything and some pictures, so I just want to take a look. I will read to you. Get ready. <clears throat> the birth of Among the Sleep. In the winter of 2009, Ole Andreas and Harvard Steen Skajavirk, a former team member. If your, if your Twitch lags out one more time, you will scream. Oh no. Story time. We've had bad storms too, but... I don't know where they went. It's just kind of cloudy now. Uh, gathered a group of eager students at Headmark University College to get together for their final bachelor degree assignment. Deciding what to do for the project didn't take long as the group was quickly convinced by our designer Anders' idea. The pitch back then was as follows. You're a two-year-old waking up in the middle of the night and you can see a dark shadow standing in the doorway. It approaches and violently tips your cot over, leaving you exposed and alone on the floor, scrambling to escape and find the safety of your mother. Essentially what happened. No scary monster, though. I want, I want a sequel, too. This was a starting point for our journey towards the game that you can play today. For the school project, our goal was to make a demo that we could build upon after graduating. To keep it simple, we settled on rudimentary mechanics and goals when making the first part of the game. As inexperienced students, we started making our own engine from scratch, and worked on that for six months before realizing that we could never finish a representable demo with before the deadline. We made the switch to Unity and recreated everything we had made in a fraction of the time. Unity was used for the entire production after that point. The art on this page were Caroline's first inexperienced attempts at capturing the mood and concept of the game back in 2010. This intruding entity and the child alone in the dark. That's scary. Is it the ending of the game? This is like we went through a museum. It was literally set up like a museum and it showed us the alternate ending of the game. And then now we're reading the little book it has for you. To be fair, if Teddy didn't move the crib, none of this would have happened. We don't know that Teddy knocked over the, the crib. In the beginning scene, once it does the scary stuff, our crib just gets thrown over. And you see Teddy, like, float out of the room. And then that's when you crawl out and the whole thing begins. Scary. A while into the project, we started discussing the possibility of turning the demo into a full game and starting our own company alongside it. Most of the group joined in the endeavor. A few declined, but we recruited other friends from class to fill their place. Later on, we were also joined by Martin, our sound guy. The sound was terrifying. Good job, Martin. 
After graduating and forming a company, we took a fresh look at our concept. What kind of game did we want to create? The initial thought was horror, but we dabbled for some time with the idea of Teddy as a more powerful companion, with ways to overcome or neutralize enemies with a range of abilities. At this point, the game looked more like an adventure game than horror. Leave that follow Dinah Welcome in. Clap for Martin. There were many ideas for the Among the Sleep universe, most of them dreamlike and bizarre, but the first journey we started creating went through a large and open world. It began by exiting the home through the basement and coming out to a forest path, ending up in a bright and sunny meadow. That would have been weird. After the comfort of the warm meadow followed a dark and hostile forest where the child and Teddy would have to use glowing mushrooms as both shelter and flashlight against the light-sensitive monkey-like creatures, dubbed monk creatures, hunting them. Underneath the forest was an underground cave system made and inhabited by giant tunneling worms who ate their way through everything in immense crystal halls guarded by roofless rock giants. In later iterations, we had plans for a world in which the child would enter a life-size dollhouse, and one of the threats was an aggressive, hungry furnace. That's so weird. This could have been a whole other game, but they just took aspects of it and made what the game is. Wow. Another world had the ch child traversing, well, words are getting hard, <laughs> traversing through a vast steam-powered machinery where parts of the machinery itself came alive and was out to get you. No thank you. These first worlds resembled more than of an, more that of an epic journey and each one was designated to tell a small side story in addition to elaborating the main story. As we progressed with development, we wanted the worlds to be more connected to the child, so we had to make some tough choices and cut a lot of parts we had really liked. Yeah, that makes sense. This as a movie? It'd be a lot like, like, Coraline or something. It'd be a good movie. Characters and creatures. Oh, this one's long. We're about to read about Teddy. The child and Teddy. We didn't focus on building characters for the child as we wanted the players to immerse themselves as a toddler and let the actions you do in the game speak for themselves. This went hand in hand with our decision to have a silent protagonist. The blueprints of the child depict a boy, but it could just as easily be a girl. We avoided referring to the child as a he or she within the game, the gender would never mattered. Throughout development, we discussed the possibility of implementing an option for players to choose between multiple colors for the baby's pajamas or even randomize it. Unfortunately, we never found the time. They did later though, because uh, now in the game, I was able to change our pajamas to pink. Anyways. One of the most important aspects when designing the child was to fully immerse the player in the role. Every mechanic, animation, and interaction was developed to strengthen this vision. We made the child trip when running for too long as a direct measure to emphasize this. Yes, it scared me every time. You want to learn the Coraline song on piano? That'd be amazing. Coraline's good. It's creepy. It's kind of the same vibes. Teddy was always meant to be the companion. On the concept stage, he was a character following you around, and later on when we were moving more in the direction of an adventure game, he had abilities that you could use. The abilities were based on objects you would find in the world as you progressed. For instance, there was a dragon mask that gave Teddy the ability to breathe fire, a bangle granting him super strength, a chalice of gluttony that conjured water puddles on the ground deep enough to swallow monsters, a bubble that served both as a shield and a way to survive underwater. That would have been interesting. Completely different though. Returning to the idea of Teddy as a following companion, we realized that making him behave as well as we wanted would be a monumental task. At least that way, or at least the way it was originally designed. It was beyond our time and experience and a big risk in terms of immersion. The last thing we wanted in our horror game was an NPC character that would take you out of the moment. The same goes for his dialogue. We experimented with him talking continuously, even when there were monsters and unsettling atmosphere, but it never felt appropriate. That's interesting because we were always, we were wanting Teddy to talk. It made it eerie because he wouldn't talk to us. We wanted him to speak and he wouldn't. He was just silent. He was just there with you. Uh, we wanted the player to feel vulnerable and alone. Putting Teddy on the child's back kept him out of the way, but still within reach, ready for a hug to give comfort and warmth. Oh, this is nuts. Hi, Luna. How far are you in the game? We finished the regular playthrough like the whole story we did the prologue and then we went through the museum now we're reading the book and then that's it there's no more Coraline came out on February 6th oh wow Coraline freaks me out and fascinates me as well 
Um, the only ability he retained from the adventure days was illumination, as we felt that supported the horror aspects. It also gave the player a connection to Teddy as a helpful, caring character. True, I did take him out every now and then. <laughs> I was like, hold me! In the top right is the first version of Teddy. Oh, wow. Made during the school project, we were redesigned him both because the mesh and textures needed redoing and because we didn't feel his appearance reflected his personality well enough. We wanted him to look old and worn, like he had experienced a lot before he was handed down. Always patched up, if damaged, implying that he had been loved and well cared for. As a result, he developed a highly empathetic and protective personality. This is nuts. Goodness. Teddy 3D models and textures. Oh, I guess it's just pictures. So there's Teddy. That's how they made him. He was creepy at first, but now I look at him and he's not so creepy because, like, we know. Mother. We wanted the mother to appear as a loving, caring, hardworking mother, but also a human being with her own set of flaws. Finding her was always the main goal of the game, and so it was important that she came off as very warm and loving from the beginning in order to encourage the player to search for her. We wanted her to smile and laugh a lot and to be playful when talking to her child. To illustrate that she might feel a bit stressed and tired, we ended up making her hair a little bit ruffled. She has bags under her eyes and her sweater is stained. I didn't know her sweater was stained. That's interesting. That's so sad. Oh! <gasps> Wow. The mother's model went through three major iterations and was the hardest character to get right. She had to feel motherly in both looks and acting, and a lot of time was spent on modeling, texturing, and animating to achieve this goal. We did not want to make her too cartoony or end up in the dreaded Uncanny Valley, so we, uns or so we settled on something akin to exaggerated realism. That's so interesting. Who was the monster? Uh, the mother. The mother was the monster. Because the child, like, perceived her as a monster. The child. The kids' model and animations went through three major iterations, each bringing it up to par when we raised the bar for ourselves during production. Since you never see the kid's face, we didn't make the texture for it. That's creepy. The head is hidden in games, so we just needed the shape of the head to cast a shadow. So you're walking around with just a shadow head. Huh. That's, that's pretty terrifying in itself. Harold. Harold was the first monster made for the game. The name is merely a way for us to refer to it when working on it. It has no deeper meaning. Originally described as a shadowy feature with weird characteristics like wearing a hat and bulky boots while carrying an umbrella, we wanted it to feel like a distorted shadow of a person with twitchy and unpredictable movements. In order to give the animator some reference to work from, Sven videotaped Anders, the designer, acting as how he felt it should move. The video has since been lost, which is a shame in it, as it was quite entertaining. What? Harold was supposed to be shrouded in shadows, obscuring its real silhouette, and we did a lot of research and testing with particle effect to get it to look right, as if a cloud of shadows were always following it, but we could never get it quite right. We have many unused animations for Harold, as it was originally meant to be chasing you throughout the whole house in the first level. Unlike the other monsters, it had animations for bending down and prodding the player with an umbrella if they tried to hide under something for too long. That would have been so awful! However, as we progressed in the development of the game, we felt that such an aggressive monster was too intense for the first level, and he is mostly seen lurking in corners and shadows throughout the final version. That's the eyes we always see. Could you imagine if we were hiding under something, thinking we were safe, and he comes and pokes you with an umbrella? I would have screamed. Ooh. Haida originates from very early in the development when the story of the game was different and each level told the story of a child, not the player character. <laughs> I would have thought this has been awful. Poke poke. Haida was the mother of a poor little girl. Sadly, she drowned and came back to haunt the little girl as the creature she is now. What the heck? Her threatening and dangerous behavior towards the player could be seen as a metaphor for how the young girl experienced this horribly sad event. The girl was later blamed by her father for causing the accident, leading her to have a terrible nightmares about this creature walking around in the forest looking for her. Well, jeez! Since she drowned, her body is bloated and water damaged, her dress torn and branches have grown into her swollen, deformed legs. As can be seen on some of the sketches, her design started out as more simplistic and blobby, or blobby, but after seeing her first model in game, we felt it did not fit the environment or look it up close. 
Yeah, no kidding. We gave her more realistic shapes and details, adding to her grotesqueness as well. When we decided to shift the focus of the story, Haida was kept as she fit very easily into the new direction. Her drowning is now more in a metaphorical sense, and she still represents a mother, just not the mother of the child we originally planned. This saved us a lot of time not having to design, model, and animate a whole new creature. What the heck? In one phase of design process, we wanted her arms to have grown attached to her body. When noticing the player in becoming aggressive, she would lift her arms and tear the skin, making a rather disgusting sound, as well as giving the player an unmistakable visual and audible cue to hide as quickly as possible. Yeah, we, we got killed by her a lot. That's nuts. So originally, it was going to be a bunch of monsters in different kids' stories? Haida was the mother of a poor little girl. Sadly, she drowned and came back to haunt the little girl as the creature she is now. Her threatening and dangerous behavior towards the player could be seen as a metaphor of how the young girl experienced this horribly sad event. The girl was later blamed by her father for causing the accident, leading her to have terrible nightmares about this creature walking around the forest looking for her. What the heck? That would have been oh, so scary. Jeez, heap, gosh, that coat scared the crap out of me. When discussing the game and what could be frightening to a child, the thought of a monster in the closet and in turn the monster being a dark, scary coat came quickly to us. To a child's imagination, a coat can be in human form, menacing and towering, with the premise of coming alive at any second. We had all experiences similar to this in our own childhoods, so we were all excited to make a monster based on these memories. Heap got its name from the initial idea for the design, where it was a whole bunch of objects and rubble held together by a coat. At the point in development, we wanted Heap to leave a trail of rubble behind when moving through the hallways and closets. But this was another thing we ended up not having. Er, that's spelt wrong. Interesting. Not having the resources to pull off. There were many ideas for this design, but we settled on a more traditional looking coat and feel that the result is effective as it's more rooted in reality and thus relatable. Is he the one that made the black marks on the ground? It hasn't talked about the black marks on the ground at all. You know the sludge marks? That would be like, they were in a couple of the levels, like all over. It has not talked about them literally at all. I wonder what that's from. Maybe it will tell us. Is that from him? Haida 3D models and textures. Creepy. Creepy. The home. The home. When creating the home, we found inspiration in our chil childhood homes with late 80s, early 90s decor. For instance, the design of the kitchen has shelves, walls, and floors almost identical to Caroline's childhood home. There were multiple iterations on the layout from the beginning, all to finally tune the flow of gameplay. The search for mother was the main focus, and everything was laid out according to the goal. One of the first layouts, which can be seen in the first teaser for the game, had the main staircase resemble the one from Anders' childhood home. We spent some time trying out different ways to descend... ways of descending the stairs, as that is supposed to be a challenge for a normal two-year-old, and we wanted the player to feel that. In one iteration, the child would grab onto the stairs... balusters? and go down the stairs sideways, making a slow descent where a monster could be seen through the spindles, creeping its way towards you as you struggle to maneuver yourself down the stairs. This ended up being cut due to being a very static sequence going against our goals for the game. That would have been so scary though. Building this house taught us how important iteration can be when creating a video game. An initial idea is needed to start creating a level, but it almost never turns out the way you first intend it to on paper. With every iteration, the level became better and better, and we're very happy with the final result. This is why some of the team members think that this part is the best part in the whole game, despite being the first. The house was very well done. The playground. Oh no. Oh no. The playground. Originally, the bridge between the real world and the dream world, this level has also seen its share of iteration and changes. We were inspired early on by abandoned, deteriorating playgrounds, and played and placed whole thing in an underground cave to make it feel even more surreal and familiar. The more I read this, the more typos there are. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's missing words. The overall layout has stayed unusually consistent throughout production, a narrow tunnel that opens up into a big cave. The more fine-grained design has been through the usual iterative... 
they use the word iterative so much, design process, often as a response to changes elsewhere in the game related to story or pacing. This level has evolved as a result of what is needed to tell the player at that point in the game. An early version of the level had the target items hidden away in tunnels around the center, but this yielded unnecessarily long paths to, to, to <laughs> words. Reading for so long is so hard to traverse. So we made this area smaller as well as opening it up in order to have more of the level visible from the initial vantage point seen on the previous page. Interesting. At one point we had a giant tree. Oh, we kind of read this in the museum. In the corner of the level, hollowed out so the player could walk inside it, the inside wall was covered with drawers that had to be opened and climbed in order to get to the end of the level. Climbing all these drawers turned out to be more frustrating than fun, especially with the drawer mechanics we had at that point, so we had to cut it. When we failed to find another good use for the tree, we decided to remove entirely, even though it was the backbone of the level. It turned out to be a good decision and a lesson to not get too attached to the ideas we personally love, and not being afraid to remove them if they don't work out in the big picture. Kill your darlings, as they say. I've never heard that before. <laughs> what? One of these times you want to say popcorn, make one of us read a par paragraph. Literally, like, all right, your turn. When your mouth gets all sticky, like dry, it's weird. Hello, hyper chicken. We're almost done with this book, though, and then we're done with this game. We'll finish off strong. This bridge was so cool. That was the one that each board was a different xylophone note. Oh... This game is amazing. The Overgrown House. This area shows a huge old manor devoured by a swamp-like forest. The original idea had two parallel worlds from one to the other at the player's command. Cover your eyes with your hands and when you look again, the house is now a forest with rocks in the place of chairs, trees in the place of pillars, etc. This meant that we would have to make two versions of almost the entire level, something we didn't have time for, so it had to be scoped down quite a bit. It also required the player to learn mechanics not found in the rest of the game, so it was a decision that made a lot of sense in the end. Most of us grew up near forests, and for some of us, the shortest routes to school as our f or our, our friends would go through one. As children traversing these forests at night or day during winter when there is very little daylight could be terrifying. They were creepy and ominous. I hate that word. It's so ridiculous to say. <laughs> ominous. It felt like anything could be lurking in the darkness ready to pounce. We wanted to replicate the character of these old dark Norwegian forests and the feeling of them slowly reclaiming the structures of the manor. Details found inside the house would also tell a story of their own, originally about the poor girl whose mother drowned and became Haida. So that's who was in those photos and stuff. Because those kind of didn't make sense for this story, but I see how they tied them in with the drinking metaphor, but that's interesting that that's not even what they were for just looked it up you kill your darlings when you decide to get rid of an unnecessary storyline character or sentence in a piece of creative writing elements you may have worked hard to create but that must be removed for the sake of your overall story i wonder how many of those have been removed from like harry potter huh i'm sorry ben spooky the images in the top right show an early design of the environment in different states forest verse manor interior that would have been a really cool concept, though. I get why they scrapped it, but that would have been really cool. Um, and is the first iteration on the main room where the puzzle and paintings now reside. Another one is shown in the top left. Although there are many sketches and ideas leading up to the final design, none of them accurately reflect the way it ended after organic iteration and unity. An early concept of the library can be seen to the right. That's so cool. It's amazing. That's creepy. No, thank you. Into the closet. Now this, this level like <laughs> stuck in my brain. Into the closet. When discussing environments and scary elements we wanted to incorporate in the game, one of the first ideas to surface was the childhood fear of what might be hiding in the closet. We felt that it fit the premise very well, and that many might be able to relate to this fear from their own childhood. We took this concept and started toying with the idea of creating a whole level filled with confusing hallways, covered in closet doors, leading nowhere and everywhere. That level was something. Oh. 
In this world, we wanted the player to feel uneasy and disoriented by its surreal and repetitive geometry. It also made to look very messy and contains a big assortment of items scattered around, resembling a mashup of many different types of closets with large open spaces and seemingly endless hallways to give it a sense of scale beyond the areas that are reachable by the player. Huh? There is always the fear of something behind the walls and doors waiting to sneak up on you when you're not looking. All the doors and floors give the level of a creaky wooden feel, opening for many possibilities when using audio to build suspense and tension. We wanted the closet doors to make it feel like something could jump at them at any moment, keeping the players on their toes the entire time. They succeeded. Yeah, that was awful. The level originally had several areas with geometry that messed with the player's sense of depth, and a puzzle that involved using perceptive and your view point of view to solve it. But the idea ended up being very hard to convey to players, so we had to remove it, even though we liked it a lot. That would have been cool. You couldn't handle the camera movement of that game? It's, it's a little rough since it's first person. I feel you there. Dimly lit coats can easily be mistaken for creatures in the dark. We wanted to intensify this by having the main threat be a creature shaped like one. Then we could use other coats, clothes, and inanimate objects to trick the player into fearing that they might come alive at any second every time I saw a coat in this game. I swear. Creating anticipation and minor scares when one of them would suddenly move. Uh-huh. The playhouse. Just a few more pages. The playhouse. This is a place where the child can feel safe. That's true, I did feel safe there. It serves as a breather between the worlds and a change of pace. Perhaps even more importantly, it gives the player a reminder that the major goal of the game, or of the major goal of the game, and a way to feel progression. Since it is a calm area, it gives us the opportunity to have Teddy speak and move around without distracting the player from the experience. It is the only place where Teddy will explicitly tell you about the story. We have had some trouble finding the final place for the level in the game. It was originally designed with a very different story in mind. Which is the one we played. Uh, that's so cool, all their little assets. The favorite book. At bedtime, the mother would sit down and read a passage from the book, telling a story about animals digging a well for the child. This was the highlight of the day. Oh, this is all the memories. A book like this for Sims would be really cool. The favorite toy, a pink fluffy elephant, soft and comforting. It's one of the toys that the mother enjoys using when they are playing. The child feels a strong connection to it. The music box, soothing melodies with which the mother let run each night to lull the child to sleep. Listening to the soft notes gives the child comfort and sweet dreams. The pendant, mom's most precious piece of jewelry. The child knows it and she is always... <coughs> as she is always wearing it, letting her little darling play with it while in her arms. That was all the memories from the game. This page shows a small selection of assets from the game. Our process had the 3D artist's work from either concept art, a sketch blueprint, or from collected references, followed by texturing by one of the 2D artists. The sheer number of assets and the iterations everything needed to go through made it a, con a constant struggle to make sure every object got the love it deserved. I mean, every object in this game was pretty dang cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. To give you a peek into the process, here are some snippets from our messy notebooks. These contain doodles, task lists, testing notes, ideas for sound, level, and puzzle design, meeting notes, etc. I wish we could just like show this to everyone who hates on Sims because they're always like, hurry up, do this. Yeah, do you realize what they're trying to do? Because <laughs> this is basically every game. There you go. Thank you so much for your support. That's the game. That's everything we can do with it. <laughs> Unless I miss some... <gasps> It puts us back here? No thanks. Run! We already did that. Thanks. Oh, but really though, well yeah, it's like you think it's something easy, but look at all that. Just them like remaking a chair. They have to redo everything. It goes through so many people and like things like, oh my goodness. Hi Sophie. We already went through this museum, but... This was the whole museum. It was really cool. It's basically everything from the game. It just explains it in the development. Hi, Teddy. I don't think we missed anything. I hope not. Because we went upstairs. That was the, like, portraits. 
We went down here, it doesn't do anything. We went out there, that's, or we went in from there, that's part of the museum. So I think we've done it. I think we've hacking done it. <laughs> you okay, child? I'm really creeped out that this child has no head. Now that we know that, th this child has no head made. <laughs> Bye, Teddy! Think back to when I would have my sims play in bed in a bath that would magically appear. Babies were truly objects then. <laughs> yep. Wow. Alrighty. We've done it. <coughs> There's so many different noises of the baby falling. Hold on. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> you all right, child? Okay. Main menu. I assume I did everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't feel like I did. That, that be it. Quit. So that whole game, main story, prologue, and museum took me seven and a half hours. And obviously if you didn't read, oh, 7.7 .7 hours. If you didn't read it, like, you wouldn't have uh, taken all the time to read the book. Cool. We finished a game. That was awesome. I enjoyed it. I'm very sad it's over, though. That's why I think I like games like Sims and Animal Crossing and stuff. The ones that don't have an ending, you can keep playing them. <laughs> I don't normally play games that have an ending. Alright, we'll switch to Animal Crossing, but I will take a little break first. Switch my category over and, um... I will also ping Discord so that people can come back if they want to. You have to watch everything maybe tomorrow night. It's good. It was really good. It does get spooky, but I really, really enjoyed that. Um, Animal Crossing. No more horror games. Not right now. I don't know what we're going to do in Animal Crossing. I did all my cataloging and stuff. We don't have any villager hunting right now. I think we'll maybe we'll just work on our town for a bit and just hang out. We can talk Animal Crossing things. I think that'd be fun. Uh, let's see. We'll call it decorating our 1900 sound. That'd be fine. Okay. I'm going to go on a little break. Uh, I'm going to take a little longer break than my quick bathroom break. Just so I can go stretch before we play another game. Yeah, I have my switch code here. And hello, welcome in. And then my Animal Crossing screen should be over here. We'll have to fix it. Alright, I will take a little break. Go take a break if you need one. I'm going to go ping Discord so if people want to come back after the scary game, they can. And then we'll play some Animal Crossing for a little while and just chill. Alright? I will be right back. stage with all the best lot of good it did for me i've walked the wall of china walked till my feet were sore came home to carolina and found my love next door well what do you know, what do you know? i didn't have to travel
much to show. Got Trevor's story, Shakespearean. Still, I found my love next door. Well, why do you know? Oh, I did, and I've traveled. I can't help but notice you coming down the street Smiling so dearly at everyone you meet And I can't help but notice you throwing me a glance A wink Telling me there's a chance I've just got eyes for you I've just got eyes for you No other could enchant me Darling, like you do I've just got eyes for you I've just got eyes for you Your sister says she loves me And wants to share my name She spoke to Railroad Bixby They've already set the date So I'm working up the guts to tell her I'll never say I do Cause I've just got eyes for you Just got eyes for you. I've just got eyes for you. No other could enchant me, darling, like you do. I've just got eyes for you. I've just got eyes.
All right, I'm back. Did everyone have a good break? And I see lots of people came in. Hi, spooky time's over. <laughs> you want to play AC, but you don't know which one? Which ones do you have? I did tons of cataloging last night. All that stuff that was all over my island, cataloged. Oh man, I cleaned these, but I missed a smudge. Hi, Court! You made hot chocolate? Nice. That sounds really good. Hi, Minnie. I should probably turn my switch on. Hi! That should be fine. Hi! Alright, switch. On. Go. I'm just... Oh, my villagers look all funny up there. Let me... I'll put those two back so it's even. It looks cute while I play, so we'll leave them up there. Switch? Hello? No sick- there we go. There! You're about to villager hunt while watching? Oh, who are you looking for? I should probably take the islands off my stream for now as well. Because we won't be hunting today, I guess, unless a villager was like, yo, I'm moving out. But I don't have any plans to hunt today. I think we'll just go work on my actual island. Since we got two new villagers, I cataloged all the stuff that was everywhere. Although, what day am I on? We should be on... If this is the 6th at noon, then we... Probably should be on the 6th, because I was on the 5th yesterday night. That should be fine. We'll do that. I do want to go fix up my town now, since all the items are away, like I said. I got everything put away. We did our villager hunting for now. And I think I'm going to grab some custom recipes. I have a... Or, not custom recipes, custom designs. I have a yes mini code to go look for a brick to go next to my brick mini. I'm scrolling, I'm looking for it. That was your birthday, it was. <laughs> also, hey, let me give her a treat so she doesn't talk over me. If any of you know of a good. Animal Crossing commissioner photo person. You know, people who draw, like, your character. Let me know. Either from Etsy or Instagram or however. Hold on, let me put this on you. Come over here. <laughs> you just stood. Come over here so they can see you. Over here. Over here. <laughs> Hi. Can we try our new trick? I literally start- Oh, sorry. I started- No, no, stop. I started teaching her this this morning, and she's probably too hyper to do it. Sit. Hi, ten. Two. Hi, ten. Both. Hi, ten. Both. Good girl. There you go. That's going to be her new trick. Give her a few days. You're working in the kitchen. You will be lurking. That sounds good. I'm going to teach her how to do high ten. We'll get there. <laughs> Two paws. She can do paw and other paw, so like she knows how to throw both paws, but I want both of them at the same time. <laughs> It'd be cute. 
Let me actually put my closed captions on. That might help. There you go. Hello, Isabel? My stupid phone! <laughs> Those darn bezeled edges. It slips off of everything. I'm on February 6th. Oh yeah, we get to meet Eric. I haven't fast forwarded to meet Eric yet, so we can all meet Eric together. Oh my god. See ya, good luck! Thomas is going on a run. I like sending postcards to friends. Should I write more? Hopkins, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, we did Gulliver, perfect, okay. We'll get some stuff taken care of and then I'm just gonna work on my island. Um, Pirate's Treasure Crown? Whoa! That's pretty cool. Oh, let me get blue stacks up so we can- I'm gonna catalog as I go again since I'm finally caught up. I took care of everything on my island. It took forever. Yeah, we have Eric and we have Bo. So good. Hello, AC. Welcome in. And thank you everyone who came in. Um, because I know I did a scary game first. And I know a lot of you didn't want to see it. So thank you for coming for Animal Crossing. And thank you for those of you who were here for the scary game. Where's my blue stacks? It's behind my game. Uno momento. Here it is. Okay. Get this. No, not like that. This. Let me make sure it works on stream. Someone made you a crescent moon chair for free? That's awesome. It should be. This. Window capture properties. Blue stacks. There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. So that's a, what was that? A pirate's crown? Pirate treasure crown. I obviously did not have that. We'll catalog that. Easy. You're having shooting stars? Nice. Oh, I also dressed myself up as Hello Kitty when I was cataloging because I picked up all the Hello Kitty stuff and I was like, ooh. You weren't here for the scary game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. I know that's not for everyone either because they don't want to see it because it's scary or they don't want it spoiled. Or they've played it before and don't want to watch again. Whatever the reason, I understand. It's always a little weird, but I really enjoyed the game. I won't spoil it just in case, but it was very good. We just played the extra bits today because there's the main game which I played last week and that took like four hours and then we played the extra bits today. Uh, I don't know which ones these are. Let me just catalog them real quick. Oh, it's the black ones. Okay. Let's get these taken care of. Valentine flowers? Okay, what was that called? Heart-shaped bouquet. Heart-shaped. You've given ketchup a lot of pumpkins so you can get a photo. Look! Good luck on your photo. Well, my dear, here we are. We've we are. seen through a lot. Love we you have. very much. Sock, 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 Thank you. Love, thank you for the 10-month resub. Welcome back. Hype? Let's do it. Sucks. 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 My storage was full too. While I was cataloging it, it was awful. Mom, thank you for the 200 bits. I think I have this box. Chocolate heart. Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. Picking her up. Um. Oh, this is all the wood I stole from Quartz Island. Because last night, we chopped down her entire island so that she can do stuff. It's very flat now. Everything is gone. 
Um, do I have room for all this though? Hold on. I do. I won't soon, but if I grab stuff out of my inventory so that we can go uh, work on things, it'll be fine. Please don't be full. You passed out at 7.45 last night and missed the demos. Yeah, Anna passed out as well. So it was literally just me in court. And we watched Cheaper by the Dozen and Demolished Her Island. It was a good time. Place item. I also got this from Her Island. Because <laughs> mine are blue or gray or something. I know you can customize them, but I am not taking the time to customize a tool. So I bought it because it was cute. I don't think I'll use it. I think I might just save it for decoration. <laughs> it's so cute! Okay, let's... Let me go take care of the daily things, and then we're just, I'm um, gonna terraform, I guess. I love Cheaper by the Dozen as well. Then! Thank you for the gifts up to Lynn! Hey, I'll grab my hat. It's actually laying on the floor. That's a hype trade. If we finish it, we will do a sticker giveaway. The sticker that we are giving away, by the way, is the Rainbow Sunflower. Nobody has it yet, because I never even shipped out the old ones. So, unless you won that one. They are new. And we'll also garden. Conductor hat on. Done. Oh no, it's KK day. Yes, the rainbow one. If you've messaged me because you won that um, before, you know, I wasn't streaming for a bit there. I will still send it to you. But just message me about it. Somebody already did. My sound is so loud. Mom, thank you for the gifts up to Kara. Kara, welcome back to the Sunflower Squad. Get my dailies here. Um, let's see. Are any of these things I know I don't have? Do I have Mr. KK? Take a look. Mr. KK. I don't. So let me order this. Let me check this. Well, this is the yellow. Do I have yellow? I think I do. I think I need to send some to Hannah, though. Let me send this to Hannah. Hello, Nathan. I'm doing all right. How are you? You have the moon chair now. I love all of the astro astrological stuff. All right, Hannah, if you can hear me, I'm sending this to you. You're welcome. Oops. Yellow. And those of you who want some of that Hello Kitty furniture stuff or the Sanrio stuff, I will be working on that now that I will be time traveling ahead. Do I have the blue chocolate heart? I forget already and I just looked at it. Hi, Midnight. How are you? Chocolate heart. I don't have the blue one. That's the last one I need. All right, I'll ship this to myself. And I have those. I'm kind of stuck on these. Because I don't remember where I left off on them. <laughs> I might be able to tell. I think... I think I have all the Hello Kitty stuff. Let's see. Tea dress shoes. I'm wearing those. I cataloged all of those. I think I might just be on to this stuff. You have AC now? Did you just go buy it? <laughs> ben. <laughs> two minutes, 50 seconds on the hype train. Level two. Um, let me order these for myself, I guess. And then I think I can order one more. No, okay. Alright, that's fine. You don't feel like playing right now? Your stomach hurts? That's fair. Is this all new stuff to the game you've been missing out on? Yeah, that's from the Sanrio Amiibos. You have to have the Amiibos. And then you get... That's how you get the villagers. The new six villagers. But you also get a furniture set with each one. But then if you don't have the Amiibos, like, I can give you the furniture. But I can't give you the villagers. They're stuck to the Amiibos. You can't even hunt for them. And you can't get them in boxes. Mom, thank you for the 200 bits. 17%. Two minutes left on the hype train. Um, I have enough money. We're good here.
Anything in here? A rusted part? Sure. Thank you for that follow, Amanda. Welcome in. You gotta find them in Canada. I don't even know if you'll be able to get them. I got them off Etsy because they're impossible to get the real ones now. I got the little coin ones. Okay, I have some gifts. We need to give gifts to... Katie! Is giving gifts to my villagers. <laughs> it's going good, Nathan. Although I haven't really started yet, but... Katie! Thank you for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. Jeez. Kristen, thank you for those hundred bits. Kristen, congrats on your 10k bit badge. Is that bug pushing my snowball? Disgusting. Amanda, thank you for those hundred bits as well. We are now on level three. Disgusting. Hey, Bunny, you need a photo. Guess what? I want to tell you. One, you're fab. Two, I mean that. Three, there's no three. Thank you. You want to give me your photo? Here, take this. I'll mark you off. You're welcome. Photo? It's a Suri? What is that and why isn't it capitalized? Isn't every item capitalized? What is this? It is capitalized. When she gave it to me, it wasn't capitalized. That was weird. That was so weird. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate it. I really do. I see Animal Crossing and I click. Welcome. Um, let's see. Is any of our new villagers home? Nope. Oh, look. He's sitting under a tree. This is Bo. He's new. We got him yesterday. All I'm doing is sitting here and watching the sky. That cloud looks like a sandwich, Salt Lake. It's pronounced like sorry. It was so weird that it was lowercase. It's real neat. <laughs> That's Hannah. All right, can you get up so I can give you a gift? Amazon has it for $120. Uh, yeah, that's a $6 pack of cards. And then all the scalpers got a hold of them and is trying to sell them for ridiculous prices. $6 US, I should say. So it's probably a few more, you know, Canadian. But not 120 Here's a gift. Bo? I'm hoping they do restock them, but... I mean, when will they do that and will it just happen again? Because I would still buy the original ones. Because it's only six bucks. And then you'd have the actual cards. But no. Yeah, just go on Etsy for them. I got six coins for 25 bucks. Which obviously that's more than the cards. But somebody's taking the time to actually make these. So. Little different. Little more worth it. Hi, Hamlet. I'm off to patrol sunflowers, Stephanie. I'm leaving that sector over there for you. <laughs> what? The cinnamon roll wallpaper? Mm, I'll search it on here. Cinnamon roll wallpaper. Yeah, I would check Etsy and just find some you like that's for a price that you are willing to pay. And do it that way. Otherwise, I would say, you know, buy the actual product, but you literally can't. Cinnamon roll wallpaper, it looks like it's like bricks. Like that. The stream changed? Yeah, we're on Animal Crossing now. I finished uh, Among the Sleep. One minute left on the hype train. A little more than one minute. Level three. That's that one, though. It's like yellow and blue bricks. But on white. Um, Who else needs a gift? My other new villager. I guess we'll just wait till we run into him. I'm gonna go get the new custom recipe I want to try and get that loaded up. It takes a little bit. Or, not custom recipe. My goodness. Custom design. Mom, thank you for the 300 bits. 40 seconds left. 71%. We'll go in here. Hello, Bertha. How are you? 
I need to grab the design code though. To the design machine! Do I even have room? I might have to replace another one. Huh. I have a little room. We'll see how much it takes. Katie, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Access the kiosk, please. You've been busy today. Are you on spring break next week, right? Thank you for that hype train. We finished level two. I will give out 200 points for that. Add points. Well, that'll be nice. There you go. 200 points went out. Um, let me see if I can find the code for this. There's a brick that looks really nice to the other brick. Uh, this brick. Okay. We're gonna try this out. You're not on the phone of a customer for your first hype train ever. This is big. Is that for real, Katie? Dang. You're currently on spring break, but you call it Easter break. Yeah. Nice. Enjoy your break. Okay. I need to search up this design. And I'm going to use it in my town. I think it will look cute. 8-8. Eight, eight. One, five, eight, seven. What? Did I hit clear? <laughs> Rip. I wasn't looking. Three, zero, <laughs> five. That was tragic. One, eight, eight. <laughs> Rip. One, five, eight, seven, two, three. There we go. You wish you got spring break. You feel super burnt out. I bet. I get why they didn't, but it's also rough. Um, these are all very cute, but I'm specifically looking for, I think it's this one. Yeah. Maybe not. Wait. It must be that one. It just looks different. Oh, I see what they did. I think. Is it just this? I'm confused. <laughs> Too many numbers for your brain. Hello, Tony. Your college didn't even get a single day off as a break. you think they would have, I don't know, even just given you Friday. A long weekend would have been nice. Why does this one have one white dot in the corner? I need that. Oh, I guess they all do. I don't know if I want the borders with what I'm doing. Let me let me try this. We'll download it. We'll give it a shot. If I need to get rid of it, that's fine. Are you... Will you be done with the semester sooner then? We started the first week of February. Okay, we need... I need this one. I don't think I'm gonna need all of these bits. I don't even have room for them. But I will need the corners. Maybe. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Designing is rough. <laughs> breaks for holidays and work are so diff- Or breaks for work and school are so different compared to where you live. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot different from country to country. This is rough. I'm looking at a picture. And they use the paths that I use. But reverse of what I use. So like my street- is a different brick but they use this brick for their street and they use the other brick for like to put things on but i'm flipping it so i'm trying to figure out in my brain how that works where is our six week uk people i don't know do u.s kids not go back to school in january then so normally in the u.s what happens i guess so not in pandemic times you normally start school in either August or September, like your new year. So if you're starting fifth grade or whatever, you'd start in August or September, depending on your district and state. And then you go to school and you get like Thanksgiving break, you get a couple days off. And then when Christmas hits, you typically get a few weeks off at Christmas. And then once January hits, whenever school starts again, you go back to the same grade. 
and then most people have spring break in March or April time and that's typically when you get a week off. It's normally around Easter, but not always. Just depends on when Easter ends. And then you go back to school. And then you're in school until normally June. Sometimes May. It depends on the district again. And it depends on if you're in college. But normally about June. And then you have June, July, August off. Roughly. Give or take some days or weeks. Yeah. Add in some teacher conference days. Add in some snow days. Add in some other breaks and like different days. But that's roughly how it is. So overall, your school year is about September to June in the U.S. Yeah, I know the U.K. is different. And then Australia is different as well. Yeah, you get random long weekends too. Either because of a holiday or because of teacher days. And then with the pandemic... Uh, obviously you get weird days and weeks off depending on your school and district and what's happening for you. Summer's holiday starts late June and ends early August. Hmm. Good night, Marie. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know which one I'm gonna try. Will I even need those? Let me just start with this. Do I have... I hope I have that creator favorited. That, I don't think I do. 3051. I do have that creator favorite. Okay, so we'll come back if I need the rest. You get random bank holidays too? Yeah, there's always random days that are off and random half days and depending on what part of the term it is and how your school does it. But that's roughly how most of the U.S. is. Okay, so, do you see where this old brick is? Yeah, I want to replace it with a new brick. I think it will look better. But it's going to be obnoxious. Or, I could just keep this brick here. I'm not sure. Let me test it with the bakery. If I hate it, I'll redo it. When do you guys think about Marina? She was the first island you visited. Oh, let me search her up. Mer... Mariana, Marina. Oh, is she an octopus? See, I don't like octopus, but she's cute. If I did, she'd be cute. She's pink. You don't know exactly when your semester ends, but you know you have like 23 days-ish left. You're almost there. You can do it. Well, yeah, school gives a lot more holidays than an actual job, absolutely. But with your job, depending on what you're working and where and all of that, you get, like, vacation days built up and sick days and all that. She's cute, but yeah, I don't like, I don't like the octopi. But if I did, I would take her. Okay, let me put her down, or this down. I need my inventory open, because I need to pick up my items in order to put the path down, which is obnoxious, but it's fine. Okay, let's open this. A six week holiday in the UK where everyone in school looks forward to. Ours would be summer break because typically it's roughly give or take three months, which is a long break. You think she's pretty rare and you might take her? You might regret leaving her. I mean, she's cute. Her personality's normal, which I like the normal personality ones. Three months? Well, yeah, that's what that's what I said. June, July, August. If you get all of those off, roughly, that's three months. Again, give or take, because you could be off school, say, like, June 9th and go back August 20th or something. But it's roughly three months. Yeah. Depends. And depends on all your breaks. You good back there, Minnie? <laughs> you good? She's doing a roly-poly. Oops. Ah, my secret's been revealed! My wardrobes! <laughs> oh, man. You call it a roly-poly, too. <laughs> Rolly, rolly, rolly. All the British people. Yeah, I just, I know all the British people in chat now. 
The wardrobe. Shh, 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 shh. It's supposed to make it look like not just a panel. We're gonna try this new brick. It looks good in this photo, so we'll see. Not, not that. Heck. Don't look at my wardrobes. It has a weird white dot, and I'm not sure why that's there. Isn't that gonna look weird? Why is it missing a pixel? Who done it? Tell me why. Why is there? What? What? Why? Can I fix this myself? Can I edit a design? That's already made. How do, how do you even make a design? X? Wait. Would you like to access? You can access it from your phone? I'm done. I quit. The dot is so it can go over a regular path? I didn't know you could access this from your phone. <laughs> it will flow with the one standard in the game. How? Wait, but how? Holy heck, I do have the Sanrio Amiibos. I'm excited, Ben. I will help you with all your AC needs. I got you. I got you. It takes the edges of paths. Is that how that works? Do you know how long I didn't understand that? So like when you put a path down and you can you put this on top of it? Is that how that works? Is that what you're talking about? My mind is blown. Oh my god! I didn't know that's how that worked! You're trying to get the Sanrio Amiibos to move in and they keep saying to invite them again sometimes and I don't know why. Well, you have to do it three days in a row. Have you done that? Where you, like, invite them to your campsite, give them an item, and you have to do it three days? I didn't know this was a thing. So then what do you do if you want it to be a full square but not have the... Hmm. I'm learning a lot. Anyways, I think these bricks do look nice here. Holy heck. I just don't want the little white square. Does theirs have a white square? Theirs doesn't look like they have a white square. Yeah, these bricks fit the overall theme a lot better. Let me look in that creator's pr thing again and see if there was two different bricks. Now that I know I can access it from here. How do you do it three days? Because I thought they left after one. Okay, so if you bring an amiibo. I just did this for the first time two days ago, so no worries. If you bring an amiibo, they go to your campsite. And it's not like the random campsite villagers. It's different. So you, they ask you for something from your island. And you have to go craft it and give it to them. There you go. You have to craft it and then give it to them. And then they'll say, oh, thank you, whatever. So then you time travel to the next day or wait in real life a day. You have to invite them with your amiibo again. They'll be in your campsite again. You give them another item that they ask for. Then you do it one more time on the next day. Give them their item, talk to them again, and then they'll want to move in. I didn't know that was a thing either. Oops. No! <laughs> Why was that modded? Because you said breast and uh, it assumed it was sexual. But obviously it was not. But yeah, that does not sound like a good time. Okay, let's go back to that creator and see if they have one without a dot then. I did not know if that's how it worked. I've been wondering why so many people have random dots on their designs. And wow, everything makes sense now. I think they all have dots though. Because it's this one. I don't understand how it looks so good on this person's then. <laughs> Say it's spaced out. Yeah, I like, I don't have the word blocked, but Automod was like, hmm, this might be sexual. Just spell it without an A. How do I do this? I'm, I'm not good at this design stuff. 
Let me look at this person's Instagram more closely. Maybe I just ignored it. Did they lay it over wood? Let me see, because obviously their photos are just what you want, or what they want you to see. But they use both of these paths, kind of like I do. I'll take a little look. Closer, to see if they have the dots. It blocked out the letter D, did it actually? Oh yes, we permitted the terms breast, D, and stupid. Oh, wait, that looks so cool. Is that the same brick? No, that's a different brick. They use so many bricks. I will make it a great island. Don't worry. Where's your other stuff? I don't know how people do this stuff. Is there like seven cameras on my phone? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It has the three. <laughs> you know how the iPhones have three just in a different one? Yeah, these are three but like down. Seven cameras. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. Hey, it didn't block dinosaur. I'm I'm upset. Why didn't it block dinosaur? Where is this stupid heckin' thing? I can't believe this. <sighs> iPhone, not seven. Yeah, isn't the new iPhones? They have 5,000 cameras on them. Wait, oh, this is the wrong account. <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking at this. Never mind. hold on. Uh, please hold. That's not the right account. That's why I can't find it. This one? Darling like you do. Wait. I'm, I'm thoroughly confused now. I'll see myself out. Is it Instagram down? Is it supposed to be? Oh no, that was the wrong one. My Instagram seems to be working. They did place it on wood, it looks like. I can see the planks under it. Wait a second. I've been bamboozled. What? Please hold. I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> Your Snapchat is down? Your Instagram is fine. Huh. All right, what is this stupid path thing? Yeah, theirs looks like it's on wood. But then how is it gonna connect? Won't it not connect? I'm learning, it's fine. Yeah, then it doesn't connect. How do you make it connect? I'm so confused. Do these have to be on wood too? What? <laughs> this is how people do that? <laughs> Got a blast. Oh my gosh, and that's how the paths show up on their island then. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh... 1900s sound, yeah. We're getting there. I mean, it's literally just begun. Twitch for you is being weird, but your snap is fine. Interesting. What did I miss up there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like iPhones either, so. Wow. 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 So they use wood under the brick, but you can kind of see through it. Do people just deal with that then? Wouldn't sand look better? Or like dirt? I'ma test this. I did not know this was a thing. I've been wondering, cause there's some really cool photos. Cause you know how with the paths, like they have the edges and stuff and you can like, 
kind of scrape half of the paths and like you can do some different things with them when they're like that. And I thought maybe people were just photoshopping because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, the curving. I couldn't figure that out. I thought people were photoshopping. It never worked for me. Now I get it. It has to be one with a white dot. What does the white dot do? How does that change it? Rip, Kara. Apple's website is so like, wow, compared to Samsung. I don't care about their websites. <laughs> Transparent. So then it just auto takes to what's under it. That's weird. All right, let's test this on dirt. I feel like it would look smoother, but maybe not. Oh, does it have footprints if you put it on dirt? Don't worry guys, I'll figure this out for you. My mind is blown. I might as well put it on dirt then, because then it doesn't uh, mess with the texture. Alrighty then, I guess we're scrapping this whole road. <laughs> And we're redoing it. Let's go. Get your dirt. My career's a landscaper. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Dirt path. Dark dirt path. Should we just do light dirt path? That should be fine. We're gonna be here a while. Anyone got something interesting to talk about? Uh oh. This is great. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm the streamer, but I've already talked a lot today. So it's your turn. Has anyone made pretzels before? You really need them like soft pretzels because I've been craving those as well. Anyone like Hamilton? I honestly haven't seen it. I'll be honest with you. Boyfriend locked himself in the bedroom with the switch while Owen is sleeping in there. Wait, really? So you're gonna have to share this switch? Good luck. Soft, or yeah, big soft pretzels, salted. I've been craving that too. Which is hard, because I can't just like go buy one. You know? Oh, that sounds amazing. Right, Katie? It's like, if you could do everything all at once, then it would take away from what Animal Crossing is. But yeah, that would be nice. That's how people do the stupid curves. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. We're good. I just mean, because even if I found one, like from a gas station even or something, they wouldn't be gluten free. So rip. Favorite Disney movie. Oh, that's rough. My go-to would be like Frozen or something. But I love a lot of Disney movies. You need to kick out some villagers? Good luck. It's a pain in my butt. Mixed feelings about Hamilton, but the music in the musical is good? Yeah, I have not- I've not seen it. Hopefully the brick looks okay on this dirt. Babysat your nephew, played with a ball in the garden, but it was too hard and it hit him in the mouth, so we drove him to the shops together to get him a softball. He came out with one big softball and three small dino softballs and a new car. <laughs> I love that. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King. Those are all good ones. I know, I need to learn how to make homemade soft pretzels, I think. Ask you to interview today because you think your job is cool. Your university wants to interview you. That's pretty awesome. I miss Toys R Us as well. Especially because before Toys R Us went away, they had just put American Girl doll stuff in their stores. Which prior to that, you could only get American Girl stuff from ordering or going to the actual stores. Right? And like, I know I'm older now and everything. But I just thought that was really cool. <laughs> and now there's no Toys R Us. A lawnmower. Saying, wait, we were walking along. He was waving to everyone, saying goodbye to the cars, trying to kiss the shop doors to say goodbye. No! <laughs> Do not touch that. You still have Toys R Us? Ours got taken away a couple years ago. And then they were saying that they might come back and stuff, but then I think one, you know, 
that pandemic thing happened, I don't think that's gonna be a thing anymore. I think Toys R Us is dead. But I could be wrong. Favorite is Hamilton, because Hamilton is owned by Disney now. Yeah, it is on Disney Plus, which like I could easily watch, I just haven't. Ugh! The panorama ruined it. I was gonna call it a panini. <laughs> Stupid panini. There we go. Yeah, I assume that stopped a lot of businesses from like coming back if they were about to, cause uh, now is not the time. What happened, unicorn? Stupid parallelogram. <laughs> now I want a panini. Target left several years ago. I heard, yeah, Target left uh, Canada, which is tragic. I hate when I take away the one I'm not trying to. You made the dresses from Hamilton? Do I need to do the edges then too? I guess so. How is this gonna look on the edge? Isn't that gonna look dumb? I need to test this. How's that gonna work? This on the edge, won't it be all wavy? Oh no, because those ones don't have holes. Wait, is this pattern even? Oh, I get it. Oh my god, it all makes sense. My brain. Oh, I get it. Okay, we're good. It's fine. I get it now. Because these ones don't have holes, but the path will still connect underneath it so I can put the other brick on it that does form to the path. Right? Let me test that over here. Holy cow. I was worried too. Let me test this theory. Hold on. I gotta see it for myself. Because this would go here. Now, if this... I think this will work. This should connect underneath the path. It does. Holy cannolis. Oops. So then... When you put that new one down that does conform to that path... It'll connect. Wow! That's amazing! Wow! Huh, cool. You could get things for cheaper at other stores than at Target, so they went under pretty fast. Aw, oh, man, I love Target. You're clapping. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know! I was like, no! Oh, no, no, no. Don't let him hug or kiss anything. <laughs> Alrighty then. So yes, I can keep putting dirt paths over all of this. I need to take these away. You like Walmart? Walmart's iffy here. Ah, uh, amazing. Wow. So now I see why they did theirs the way they did. But I still want this to be my road, so I'll make it work. I don't have to literally copy what they did, because I'll just make my own. Oops. Usually went to Sam's Club and Walmart every day. I loved Sam's Club. What is Target? Because you hear it's a good store, but you don't live in a country that has Target? I mean, it's just like a department store. Wait, no. What'd you call that a department store? How do you explain Target? It just sells all kinds of stuff. But, good stuff. <laughs> like, it has a home section, it has, you know, your grocery section, it has clothes, it has toys, like, it has everything. It does have a grocery section, and depending on your target, they made the grocery sections bigger. Dang it. A box store. There you go. Is it like an everything store? Pretty much. Like you could go there and probably outfit your entire house with small selections. Except things like, uh, they don't sell refrigerators. But they sell mini fridges. So, <laughs> you know. It's a pretty much everything store, but not literally everything. 
Ours has a grocery section and it's not a super target. That's how it used to be. I think the super ones kind of died, but if it is a super target, it's just bigger. I love Target. They have a great dollar section with fantastic items. Their clothing is quite cute, especially the kid clothes. Lots of toys. Asda and UK and Walmart are the same company. I think I heard that. <laughs> Pathing, my gosh. This really makes you look at people's pictures on Instagram and be like, wow, you did a lot of work. Asda? How do you say it? It seems weird. A-S-D-A? Asda. Asda? I know, I love the kid clothing section at Target. Even still, it's just they make really cute clothes. There's some decent stuff in juniors and stuff, but I like the kid stuff better. Their baby section, so cute. The last one, Asda? <laughs> Think of that follow up one. I do remember Kmart, that went bye bye Dirt path. This will be nice because I kind of always got annoyed when you looked at the map. If you do custom pathing with nothing underneath, you can't see it. Now I get how you see it. A uh, aluminium. <laughs> Is Kmart in Australia? It got taken out. Did it get taken out of all of the US? I know it's not in Michigan. Pretty sure it's out of Florida. Aluminium. <laughs> I love Target. And you know how stores just have a certain feel? Well, for me, the feel of Target is a good one. No Kmart's in Canada. Yeah, I think Kmart just full on died. Kind of like Sears. Sears died. Rip Sears. Rip. JC's pennies is like half dead. This is a lot of work. Look at my sand path. Do these fit up here? No, darn it. I saw somebody, it looked like they had path under their thing. But I don't think it did, I don't think you can. Hmm. I'm thinking. Let me cover this for now. Surprise! Sears went bankrupt? Yeah. I remember going there for like their uh, closeout sales. Because it was connected to a mall and then it just went bye bye. How do you think we say Adidas? I don't even know! <laughs> I'm like trying to think pronunciation in my head. Adia. I don't know. I don't know. Because that's already a hard word to say. Nope, my mouth can't even. This is going to look fantastic. Adidos. Adidos. Adidas. Adidas. Is Thomas home? I heard the door. Is he home? <gasps> hey, Minnie. Is Thomas home? She's waiting. Is Thomas home? Ah, uh, Dodas. A Dodas. A Dodas. A dee 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 I think I say. Now I don't even know what I say. What did I say? Adidas? That one. How do I say Nike? Nike. Uh, we don't need this one. Holy cow. This better look good. I'm gonna cry if it doesn't. <laughs> when I put the other path on top. Sand! You don't say the E in Nike? Do you just say Nike? 
Please don't tell me you just say Nike. You just say Nike. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone just say that. No, why just Nike? Nike! E yes, no. Wrong. Definitely wrong. Just Nike. Got my Nike shoes. What? <laughs> it's Nike. <laughs> Got my Nikes on. Nike. I have some cute pink and purple Nikes. Actually, I don't know if I still have those. Man, I love those shoes. Where did those go? Huh. That's it. Nike. Do I call a TV a television? I mean, yes, it is a television, but I just call it a TV. It's shorter. The picture box. If it was Nike, it would be spelled like Nike, like coffee. But literally, the commercials and company calls it Nike. Must be an American thing. The telly. <laughs> Going to watch the telly. Yeah. Nah, I just call it TV. What is Flurry wearing? Oh, she's wearing a baby outfit. So I think she took my baby outfit or something. She asked for it and I gave it to her and now she wears a baby romper. Flurry. Just goes around in a baby romper. I should give her a baby pacifier and she'll just be a baby hamster. I mean, Nike is an American brand and even the Greek goddess Nike is pronounced Nike. See? So you're wrong. Excuse me, tree. I can't see. Nike. Oh my gosh. This looks terrible. Like without everything I had on there. I should probably do this over here. If I take this down, I'm going to forget how I had it set up. Now let me mess around with this to make sure it looks good. Which AC should you play? What are your options? Like, do you have multiple AC games? Um... Let me see what this looks like. Cadbury never tasted the same since US took it over. I didn't even think Cadbury was made here. I have Cadbury in front of me. Oh, it's by Hershey now? Under license from Cadbury UK. Distributed by Hershey, Pennsylvania. I didn't know that. I just kind of thought it was all UK. US owned Cadbury for like two years. Interesting. Let's have tea and put the telly on. Okay. Sounds good. Wow, look at these bricks. I see a balloon. Yeah, UK. You have it on GameCube and Switch? I mean, I guess it's up to you. I played the GameCube one when I was younger. Why do I have a Christmas tree up? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't taken it down. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I just haven't taken it down. What's in this one? It's still winter in my game though. It's fine. A hose reel. Nice. Yeah, I know tea means dinner. Or Ken. Do we have Cadbury cream eggs? We do. I don't like those as much. I like the, uh, like these ones. The mini eggs? Like, I can eat some of the cream egg, but then it gets all gross and weird and it's just too much. It's so sweet. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, those are sweet too, but the cream is... Ugh. How do I want to do this? I guess... No. Wrong. We'll see how this looks. Your mini egg packaging is so different. I think because these ones are from Hershey. I mean, yours don't come from Hershey though, right? Do just ours come from Hershey and then it's just, you know... Licensed by UK? 
These are these. These tiny ones. Oops. Everything is stuck to it. I don't know. Not recommended for young children. Milk chocolate with a crisp sugar shell. Children under four can't eat mini eggs. That makes sense. You could choke on those. GameCube and Switch. I saw that. I said play whichever one you want. And that I played the GameCube one when I was younger. If you want to play the new one, play the new one. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I need these. Yeah, and then there's also a caramel and milk chocolate egg instead of the cream one. That one's a little better, but there's still a lot of caramel. There's just so much filling in it. I like the mini eggs too. That looks cool. So then if I put this path up next to it, it should look pretty pretty neat. Yeah, the caramel one is, I, I prefer it over the other one, but still it's just, it's too much filling in the chocolate. I can't eat it all. I'll normally like take a bite out of them, the caramel or the Cadbury ones, and then I don't finish it and it sits there. And then it's, you can't really wrap it back up. So then it sits there and the uh, either cream or caramel just ends up hardening. <laughs> And then I don't eat it and end up throwing it away. That looks really good! I like that. I think that will look cool. Did I pronounce caramel for you on that voice note? Ah, uh, yes. I believe so. I think so. No, you're good, Midnight. That's gonna look cool! Because then I'm sitting the bakery back there. Now I could put down the path that gives that an edge, but I don't think it will match this edge. Let's try it. If I don't like it, we'll get rid of it. It's fine. Um, X. Yes, please, because I didn't know I could access this from my phone. Little me just run into Able Sisters every time I want a new recipe. Not recipe. Design. Design. Ca caramel. Yes, that. Oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Nope, that's not it. How do you make a money tree? Uh, when you see the little shiny hole on the ground, you get one each day. You dig that up. And then you bury bells into it. And then it will sprout a money tree. But what's the max amount of bells you can put in it? I forget. Is it 10,000? I forget what it is so you don't screw it up. Yeah, but then you just plant it there and then it'll grow a tree and then when it grows up, you get to shake the tree and it gives you more. Do we have a Kit Kat in the US? Yeah. Probably looks a little bit different, but. All right, I need code 8051. Wait, 3051, this one. Um, and hi, Chicken Noodle. How are you? I'm gonna try to use the borders on this. It should work. Because their borders don't have the little holes. Oh! But I don't think these borders will match the other borders, but we're gonna see what it looks like. So I need this one. You must have stuff to a perfect standard British accent. <laughs> I love it. Overwrite it. We're gonna try to see what this looks like. As long as the borders don't look too odd. Visit England for a week vlog? Oh, I'd love to go to the UK. Obviously not right now, but like in a normal world. Um, and then these sides, yeah, I would take these. Hello, Lauren, how are you? We'll put these right here. I've never been out of the US, so I'd like to go a lot of places, although I'm afraid of planes now, so. Let me get over that fear first. <laughs> Especially because you'd be on one for a while. 
You know what? Just knock me out and put me on the plane. Wake me up when I get there. And then I need... If I have this one and this one, I need this one. What is the classic British accent to you? Um... You know, like, Zoella's accent? That. You go out the UK every year? Yeah, well, when you live in the UK or you live in France or, like, you live anywhere over there, it's easier for you guys to go from country to country because, like, if they're all connected and they're all, like, right there. Well, I know the one's not, but you know what I mean. In the US, we're kind of over here on our own. You can go to Canada. That's connected. You can go to Mexico. But if you want to go anywhere else, you got to fly. Granted, you're gonna fly anyways, but it's a longer flight. More expensive. So, well, is a pretty good accent. I would hope so. I mean, she lives there. I'm doing pretty good, Lauren. I'm trying to figure out paths. I've learned a lot today. Things I did not know about them. Um, if I have that one, then I need... And I have these ones. And I have these ones. I'm going to try this one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use the bottom path. Yeah, it's just kind of like we go to all of the different states if you're in the U.S. Because that's easy to go to each state. Or easier, because they're all just here. But it's still the U.S. You can get a five-euro flight to France, so eight dollars. How? What? You're tarantula hunting? Good luck. Yeah, like, you can drive basically anywhere in the U.S. It's gonna be a little bit longer, farther away, but you can do it. Let's see what this looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. I'm a little worried. Especially because I'm almost out of design slots. No! No! It's gonna be a different border. But I don't know if I like it unbordered or bordered. Let me try the back, too. Thank you for that follow, Lauren. Welcome in. Thank you for that follow as well. Welcome in. Let me try the corner. What does this look like? Oh. Wrong spot. Here we go. You can drive to England. It's a seven-hour drive, but you can. See, that's pretty cool. I guess that still looks all right. It's just bordered on that part. Especially once things are out. Then it doesn't look like the brick just ends, you know? I think that'll be okay. Um, and then we'll put this one here. I think that's cool. Scotland! That's awesome. No, I'll put this on this side. Takes 24 hours of driving straight. Wait. 24 hours of straight driving to drive from where you live in Ontario to get to Manitoba and 7 hours to get to Quebec. Not exactly easy to travel to different provinces. Well, Canada's very large. Very vast. Like, there's not as much in between everything. Now, how would I do this right here? I need the corner piece? That's gonna look really strange. Maybe I need something completely different here. Maybe I don't want brick in front of here. Maybe. This should just be its own little section. And just, like... End there. Oops, that's not what I want. No, stop! Thank you. It could just end there completely, or I can put a different path there, I guess. Yeah, I saw some corner pieces. Because now that looks weird. Let me see what the bottom piece looks like, too. I don't think I'm gonna like the border on the border, but we'll test. Yeah, no, that's not necessary. Because this border on this one looks like it goes with this one, but they're not from the same creator, unfortunately, because if they were, then they could potentially 
make one with the same border. Um, we'll just do the regular one there. I could just put... Oh man, if I want this to be considered a path, I'd have to replace it. Yikes. I wonder what that piece looks like here though. Would this be cute off the edge? Maybe with grass, that's the other issue. I have snow right now still, so really most of the time there would be green next to that, not, not grass. Although, wait a second, hold on. No, I wanna scuff this up. Let me just put it down not as a path because I see that since it is transparent, it needs to be on the ground and then it looks like it matches. If that made any sense at all. Give me this. Did you know Zoella is pregnant? Yes! I've been waiting for a selfie, baby. Like, since I was little, alright? <laughs> since I started watching them probably a decade ago. I'm very ready for a selfie, baby. You have no idea. I'm so excited. I think the whole world of YouTube is excited for them. Oh, that was that was good news. If you're not excited, be excited. <laughs> Cause that's gonna be the cutest baby ever. Are they pregnant? Or are you waiting for them to be pregnant? You want Zalfi Sims back? Do you remember when they did that? It was so good. I would sit and watch those. They were fantastic. I love them. Gosh. Oh, you're waiting, you're waiting, okay. I think this might be cute. With grass. I'll leave it for now, unless I figure something else out. I don't know, I don't love it next to all- Maybe if this is all filled in, I think this is throwing me off. If this is filled in with brick, I think that might be cute. Especially if I somehow- Because it's incorporated here. Let me place the rest of this brick down. You don't know who they are? Zoella, like, you know the OG YouTubers? Well, you might not if you don't know her. But like Tyler Oakley and Zoella and all of them. And Tyler Oakley streams. We rated him. Anyways, they like, original YouTube, they were famous. And everyone knew them if you watched YouTube because there weren't very many big people on YouTube at the time. But they were it. And now it's just been like a decade and they're all doing their own thing. Still on media. I need a weird corner piece. Uh, this one. Joe and Diana, Joe, Sog and Diana, Buswell, they moved in together. How cute. They met a strictly com- they met on Strictly Come Dancing? What is that? Ooh. They were dance partners? What have I missed? I have not kept up with Joe Sug. Not in a long time. I need the weird piece. Oh, 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 oh. This goes here. Strictly Come Dancing is a UK dance competition. Oh, the emote is dance. I'm like, why do you guys keep putting that dance emote? <laughs> got it, got it. That was funny. Why is it doing that? I guess because the code for that is just lowercase or like the normal word of dance. Uh, uppercase D and then lowercase. Why is my brain not working? Brain? Brain. There we go. I like to dance. <laughs> <sighs> like dancing with the stars. Got it. I didn't know he danced. That's interesting. Ah, oh, my path is back. This is gonna work so much better, and it's gonna actually show up on the map, which will be cool. 
Because if I ever finish this island, which I plan to, when I finish this island, you can like have people create your map based on your map. You know what I mean? Have you seen the drawings of maps where people make them look really cool? So if I have the paths there, it will make a lot more sense. Help, you're on your data. Your internet kicked you out. Rip. He doesn't dance. That's the thing about Strictly. Oh, he was the celebrity, but she was the dancer. Oh, I see why you like the story. <laughs> I see why love is interested in that. Oh. Most of popular places and castles and or palaces and castles in Scotland you love. One's in Scotland, but one's in England. I love castles. Okay. I need this one. Here it is. Perfect. Pretty massive. Interesting. I literally had never heard of it. Getting some fries. Sounds delicious. Ah, uh, path fixed. Except that. I need to fix that. That's a mess. I don't know what I'm doing there. I guess... I'll probably make another little patio thing like this. To put this on. And this fence wall thing is probably not staying there because it looks weird. Although... It might look okay next to this. We'll see. You love it with all your heart. Even your friend from Asia has heard of Strictly? I'm missing out. <laughs> hey, if it's not here, it's not here. Plus, I don't have cable TV even if it is. If it's not on Netflix or Disney Plus, probably haven't heard of it. Oops, I need a corner piece. Oh, here we go. Now I need the side pieces. Boom. And then these need to all be fixed, so let me scuff them so I don't think that they're supposed to be there and connected. Wow. Let's fill these in. Does my island rating go up if you use a hard path? Like the dirt and the sand are soft and the wood and the stones are hard? I have no idea, actually. I don't know that one. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know what my island rating will be like after I do all this. I don't... I've never had it five stars before. And I feel like with all my weird stuff that it might not make it five stars, but we'll find out. Hi! Ah, oh, much better. Hello, HZ, how are you? Much better. Path fixed. I'll put my bakery back up and see what that looks like. I've put it down and picked it up so many times, though, it's obnoxious. The path did work out. I have this one here. I was adding this one in. And I figured out smart things. Because I didn't know about putting paths under paths. Let's find everything that goes back here. Simple panel. I need the wooden wardrobes. I mean, not wooden wardrobes. No, don't open it. Yeah, close it. <laughs> I meant the wardrobe, but... These are secrets. Shh, don't look at the wardrobe. You see nothing. How far back were they? Here? Or did I have them... No, I had them pushed in one. Hold on, where's my panel? Uh, this? Okay. Okay. 
See, look, it's a magical shelf. No panel here. Where's my other ones? Wooden wardrobe. Perfect. And if you want to change your clothes outside, you know, there you go. Just go to the magical shelves. Easy. This is gonna be so cool. I see nothing. I was trying to figure out something, some sort of item that made it appear to look 3D. And these were the best that I could find. If you have a better suggestion, I could try that sometime. But these ones, at least at a glance, makes it look like it's a shelf. I'm sure it's probably online, Kara. Uh, simple panel. Or yeah, simply all the YouTube links. I'm sure you could basically watch the whole thing through that. <laughs> That's what I do like with... Uh, Dancing with the Stars, some of those other ones where they just upload the dances on YouTube. If you end up watching them all, you know. You end up basically having have watched the show. Perfect. Is it top hours or is it just top? I don't remember. Uh-oh. There's 10 to 20 seasons? How long has it been going on? Top is for seeds. Oh, there it went. It was just late. Wow, look at me. <laughs> I've watched so much. Yeah, you might find a spot on the leaderboard because some people got kicked off the leaderboard. This is gonna look cool. I'm ready for it to be spring on my island though. I have like 25 days. I think it's March 20th. You are coming up there, love. Jeez, I don't know I had so many hours. I mean, it makes sense. Sounds good. There's 18 seasons? How long has it been going on? How have I not heard of this for how long it's been going on? <laughs> In all the dance videos I've watched on YouTube and they haven't come up? It's weird. 18 years. Well. <laughs> don't know. You should put a 1900s filter on Animal Crossing. So, when I start uploading to Instagram again, because I want to get, you know, my Animal Crossing Instagram up, I'm going to get one of those filter presets. So, on there, they will be. But that'd be pretty funny. I'll just put the whole stream in sepia. <laughs> this is looking so cool. Obviously, this has to all be decorated and cluttered and stuff, but, like, this is the base. Get in the base. Yeah, presets. There's some on Etsy. <clears throat> Um, for photos of Animal Crossing. But there, I don't think, maybe if you hacked your Switch, I don't think there's any way to actually put a shader on your game. Unless you just shaded your monitor or stream. But it's for, uh, people use them for their actual screenshots that they post. But it's post-edited, you know. First aired in 2004, so you should watch YouTube clips. Apparently there's gonna be a lot of content out there. Strictly dancing apparently it's a uk like dancing with the stars i don't I, I mean maybe i have and i didn't know but i didn't think i had but it's been out for 18 years the more you know this is gonna be so cool all right let me put my bakery stuff back up and see what it looks like uh brick oven went here i see a balloon back there but i'm busy did I have these pushed back one more? I don't think so, because they need to be flush. No, that looks right. Um, where's the firewood? Keep dancing. Firewood. Okay, we just have, like, Dancing with the Stars. Obviously, Dance Moms, but that's a completely different show. I don't 
know if I want that there. I'll put it there for now. I need my stall. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want that to sit? Because now I have a border, which I didn't have before. I guess that's fine. And then where is my menu chalkboard? This one? Probably... Because I want a street aspect. So the whole idea of this being so large is mostly so that when taking screenshots, it like... The perspective looks right. Because it's quite a large road thing. But... Yeah, that's what I'm working with. Um, I want to clutter it since we don't have cars. Well, and they wouldn't have had cars in this. I mean, maybe, but not. It's, it'd be more of a horse-drawn thing going through here. I was thinking of putting a railroad through here, but it made no sense because where the heck would the railroad go? Into the ocean? <gasps> He's looking at the dog! That's cute! Oh. If you're a celeb in Windsor, click up dancing, you get one... 100,000 euros? If you're the pro dancer in Strictly, you win 30,000. Interesting. Huh. Cool. You know what I really like watching? Britain's Got Talent. It's much better than Americans Got Talent because of the British accents. Pounds? <laughs> That's why I said it like, uh. <laughs> Typewriter? Snacks? And what else is supposed to go back there? Oh, my coffee grinder. Oh, the barrel. See, I feel like this has to be pushed back one. Oh, I put the barrel in the back corner. That's right. So then maybe this does need to be flipped. Hmm... You have, a Mer you have an American judge who loves everything. Wait, why do you have an American judge on a British show? My immersion. I love Britain's Got Talent. Woo, coffee. There we go. And then the British judges just stare at them. Who is it? Is it someone like that? I, I know. I'm not great with names, but I might. No, I need the wood to go over by the stove. I have no room! This is rough. Decorating Animal Crossing is a feat. Because, like, I'm stuck unless I take things down. Guess I'm taking this down. Oh, uh, Firewood. We will flip this like that. Wait, where does it? Now I'm confused. Does it need to be over one? That works. Cute! Hasn't been on the last few seasons. Who was it? Let me look it up. It wasn't. No, no, that. Wait. Simon Cowell's British, right? Yes. But doesn't he also judge on Americans Got Talent, or has? Yeah, long time. That always confuses me. You know what really confuses me? When people come from other countries to go to other countries Got Talents, but they don't live there. Like, America, an American going to British Got Talent, but doesn't live there, but wins it. Huh? Hasselhoff? Think so as he like created it. That makes sense. I'm not great with people's names or TV shows, apparently. <laughs> Look how cute this is! That looks amazing. Oh, that's good. Ooh, let me put some street lamps back out. Um so I had one here that looked pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And then, David Hasselhoff. 
Like Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff? Like the SpongeBob meme one? Is that like. Oh, I only know that as the meme from SpongeBob. Yes. Yeah, the SpongeBob scene! <laughs> That's the only thing I know of David Hasselhoff. That is so funny. What else? <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Let's get this crown back to Bikini Bottom. <laughs> yeah, the whole scene. Here you go. Oh, <gasps> yep. I'm like, Hasselhoff, that sounds familiar. Like David Hasselhoff, like Spongebob. <laughs> I'll see myself out. A trophy case, do I know this? Yeah. All right, old fashioned wash tub and the street lamps. I think. Where would a street lamp look best? Maybe here? I'm a goofy goober. Yeah, I think so. The video I sent is from the Spongebob movie. Do I want that light here? Or do I want them symmetrical here? Hmm. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. You're a goofy goober. Yeah. Wow. It's a throwback. And then maybe the wash bin can go here. We're all goofy goobers. Yeah. Do I want this in more? Decorating Animal Crossing is such an art. Like, to make it look good with what you can do. I'm learning. Oh, my bench can go back here. He is in fishnets and high boots, yes. Yes, you got it. Wow! Blissful Melissa, thank you for that raid. Welcome in. How was your stream? Katie, thank you for the 100 bits. Hype. Oh, I can put these back. Right here. Look. Cute. What were you up to? How was your stream? I'm going to put a hat here. You got fries. Nice. Um, I have a hat. I have a hat. This one? Look. Aw, yeah. That's cute. You're playing Stardew. I gotta get back into Stardew. I'm glad it went well. Can we get a shout out for Blissful Melissa? Stardew! You said Bertha's favorite word. We'll do some Stardew on stream soon, Bertha, as well. I'm sure you'll be there. Um, I'm trying to decide. So I have a stool and I have, I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe over here. It's hard for me to clutter because I like things to be very particular. Like, you know, I don't like things out in the open, but that's how you make it look cluttered and like good. Well, this, no, I can't push that back there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably just go back to the farm we played on stream, which isn't very far along. But I would just have to figure out what I was doing in it. I don't know where I want to put this. This is a struggle. Heck. Did we get a shout out or no? There you go. Um, maybe down here? I don't know how I want to do this. I guess let me just put it out and I can move it later. Because I had a stool, and then I put the little box on top of it. Maybe the box could end up on the beach part too. This? Ta-da! Yeah, I don't like that there, but I'll figure it out later. It needs more clutter eventually. Do you know on Chrome you can categorize tabs into groups now? What? Groups? 
I have like... Oh, your tabs. I thought you meant bookmarks. Groups. Add tab to new group. Whoa. No, I did not. <laughs> Remove from group. That's cool. You're in spring year three. Wait, what are you in? Winter year two. Oh my gosh. You have been playing them. I didn't know that. No. I didn't know my tabs could go in groups. I've never tried. <laughs> I always close all my tabs anyway, so... All right, what else is in here? That's for over there. I have more street lamps. I'm not sure how this is gonna be either. This was kind of placed here because, you know, it's a work in progress. I need to replace this. Yeah, that, I could see that being helpful with school stuff. Is he working out over here? Oh, I love him. Aw. Let me fix this loveliness. Let me pick all this up. Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. You're listening to Goofy Goober now? Sounds about right. This is Rover's suitcase. And I put it here for now, but I am going to create a little train station spot, so that's going to end up moving, because I don't think you can get two of those, can you? I think they're a special item. Um, what we're going to do is... Fix the path over here. Did I ever finish or fix this part? Nope. But that is. Okay. That is where we left off then. You're almost done with the community center aside from missing bundle. You need two more apples, but you think you planted them in a way that they won't grow? Oh no. Fix this. I still don't know what I want to do about this fence. <sighs> I don't know how to create depth. Like, I don't know what's going to go behind this town strip. You know what I mean? Maybe houses? Maybe I need to start mixing in villager houses and, like, trees and stuff? I don't know. Oops. Oh my gosh! Look how giant that snowball is! From the bugs! A bug rolled that. Lord. This part's gonna be my favorite part. I'm also trying to decide. So I have this town strip, which essentially is going to be the clothing shop, fake bakery, nooks, and then I'm putting the little news stall here and then i think maybe out in the open to take up some space on here i'm gonna put a little shoe shining spot i saw a picture that somebody did and it looked really cool to make it look like you know a shoe shining booth but i'm trying to decide i have some other ideas let me look up my idea list real quick i have other ideas of what to add like i want a flower booth i want to maybe do a pottery booth by booths i mean like the stalls I could do crops, um, a hat stall, a cake stall. Like, there's all kinds of stalls I want to do. So, I don't know, should I make another street in front of here? So, depth-wise, the stalls would be in front and then the shops behind. Or, do I continue the street right here? Because I'm changing my river, so the river could be moved. I don't know. Because I want it to be, like, m their main street, essentially, where they would go to town. But I don't know how to make that look good. Chose fruit because fruit spawns, even if you don't check it every day. Ooh. Oh, your spooky island theme. You have Carmen, Ellie, Fauna, Felicity, Judy, June, Lolly, Maple, Melba, and Mary. It's more brown villagers than spooky, though. That's all right. 
I want everyone above on stream. If you missed the villager hunt, those villagers are who we hunted for. We ended up finding Bo and we ended up finding uh, Eric. And then I'm keeping Flurry. So we need to find the rest as soon as we have another villager hunt. Which I don't know if I'm gonna like try to force someone to leave. I guess if I'm really craving a villager hunt, I might do that. But now that we've gotten two new villagers, my stuff is cataloged. I'll probably spend a few days actually working on my island since none of it's done. <laughs> none of it. There we go. Now I can fill this in. Um, I'm thinking we will make this. into the little outlet like this one because i like that it blends in pretty well not there here brown villagers fit the theme because they're darker and judy may be pastel pink and purple but purple to you mean it's halloween that's fair i think it's just in one street i think it would look better since you're redoing the rivers yeah that's what i'm wondering if i just use the rest past the community center as far as I need to and then I can make the river be all weird like I do have the river mouth where's my river mouth my river mouth is right there but like the river could go towards the right first and back over if I needed it to or whatever so it shouldn't really get in the way especially if I'm just doing stalls I could do two rows of stalls maybe and just make it look like a cluttery market area. That could be cute. Whoopsies. No. <laughs> it's so easy to just do it on the wrong spot. You're making me want to play Stardew. Knock that off. <laughs> I am busy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'm like trying to balance so many games right now. And I want to play more. Games. Wait, it doesn't need to go out this far. What am I doing? Lord. Do it, do it, do it. Let me get my border for this so I don't keep putting the wrong stone down here. I need this. there I'm excited I want it to get to the point where like it looks like the theme I don't know like right now I just have this little shopping district and it's not quite even done but once I get some more terraforming done I guess and get some villagers houses where they need to be like that's when it will start really coming together and think about that follow welcome in like this spot right here looks real good but I need to figure out all this. A lot of empty space. Which, that's why it's like I could put some stalls right here. And kind of make it layered like that. I'll probably just have to honestly grab some stalls and mess around with it. And see if I can get a layout that looks okay. Because I'm also thinking in terms of some realism. But also it's Animal Crossing. But also taking screenshots. You can only do so many angles for screenshots, so what would look good? Depth-wise, and like what's in front of you and behind you. In 100 years, people will be making 2020-themed Animal Crossing islands. All their villagers will be in masks. Loads of cedar trees. Yeah, I'm not sure which trees to add. I guess I'll do both. The oak looking ones. I mean, we only have two types of trees besides the palm ones. And then bamboo, but I won't be having bamboo or palm trees. <laughs> we discussed that before. Not that kind of island. And then I'll have, like, fruit trees and stuff around. Even if the fruit doesn't make sense for the actual place, it'll look cute in Animal Crossing. And more flowers. If I made this road go this way, though, 
then I might have to cut this path short. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. If this path continued the road, it would just be cut off from this. And continued over. I would just have to take some of the field away, but there's plenty of field here. To be honest, I don't even think that all the weeds will grow because I have too many. You're in a Spongebob song vortex? Fun. I'm excited. Hi, bunny. And then when all my villagers... Ooh, there's a present right above us. When I have all the villagers that, like, match in one way or another. The ones on the top. And they'll be walking through the town. And it'll just be cute. F is for friends who do stuff together. <laughs> and is for no survivors. Got it. This one. Ho, oh, Plankton. Ah, there we go. Now I have a little newsstand part. <laughs> you is for your radio. <laughs> Perfect. I need this one. No. Flurry, are you just gonna sit there all day? <laughs> Palms that burn down the whole town. Perfect. I'm gonna take this fence down. I don't know what I'm gonna do back here, but this is not it. Maybe I just need to put trees behind the town. And this is still here. It's been here a while. Um, we'll do... This? Ta-da! Wow! And then now on my map, since these all have paths under it, it's a giant blob! Perfect! <laughs> then you know there's a path there, though. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. I don't have my campfire down. And then this barrel. It's gonna go back over here. C A M P I R E S O N G song. F O. Wait. Campfire song song? For your FYI. Put that barrel there. Bum 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 Stacked magazines there. And then put back my stall here. Yes. Although. How do I want to do this? That looks cool. Okay. And then... This was the... Essay set? Yeah. And then this was the magazine. Oh, but I wanted to face, like, the customers. And then... This was the stair... The stool? The stool? No, 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 come back. And then... To add some clutter... Papers! Although I want them, like, over here. Papers? Um... Like, over here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then... This here? Um, I guess it'd be out. 
back one. That'll do. Why are some of the leaves for furniture yellow? That's if they were uh, customized. If I put custom art on them or the designs, they turn yellow. I think just to let you know that that's your customized one. For now, I'm gonna put these boxes back here. I'm basically just trying to figure out what kind of clutter to book back here. And I don't even know if cardboard boxes are a thing yet, but... It'll work for now. Although... The duct tape on them is not really it. But that's fine. It's in the corner. <laughs> love. Oh, love. Those are more street lamps. Ooh. I could put a street lamp right here. Well, there's one up here, though. Depends on how I want to do it over here. For now, I'll put a street lamp here. Good night, Kara. Thanks for hanging out. I'll put one there for now, till I figure out what else is gonna happen. Those are two extra street lamps, except I think one of them is green. And then I have Rover's briefcase. For now, I'll put it back here, but that is gonna be moved to... the train station someday. I'll put it there for now, it's cute. Street lamp, street lamp, tin bucket. Oh, um, I think I had that just sitting here. Decor. Cute. All right, my town is back to where it was. And then now I can continue decorating from there. But the paths are fixed. And I like those. Those are cute. I love it. That'll be cute. And then I just have to figure out, you know, everything else. <laughs> but isn't that crazy that just that alone takes a couple hours to do? Wow. Perfect. I feel successful. And now I have good paths that I can keep using. I can't believe they made that snowball. That I can keep using on my island and it will all match. Because I basically, I have a good, like, road pattern, which is this brick. And then I have another extra brick for whatever. Right now I'm using it for, like, under fake stores. And then I have this dirt path. Which will be very cute, especially when there's actually grass, not snow. And then all my extra little designs I've been getting. Like, this blanket, that's a design. This is a design, but I don't know if I'm keeping it. These stumps, the paw prints, these were all designs. It'll be aesthetic in no time. <laughs> lots of time. It takes lots of time. Lots of hours. But I think for now, that'll do it. That'll do it for today. I'll probably work on it more tonight, but for stream. And now I figured out paths. I did not know that's how paths worked. I was so confused about paths for the longest time. I get it now. I understand. Who is all a streamin'? Take a peek. We could raid. I forget who we've raided. I try not to raid, you know, people the same day in a row. Don't leave us! I've been here almost five hours. I played my spooky game first. Um, let's see. I've been trying to find new people to raid. We can raid here. Alright, we're gonna raid someone brand new. I haven't watched them, so it's a surprise raid. <laughs> you have to sleep soon, so good time for a raid? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get off. I did a lot of talking today because I read that whole book for the other game. <laughs> we'll miss you, but we'll speak to you anyway. I'll be here. I'll be on Discord. Yeah, I did my spooky game first. Alright. Discord, join there if you're not there. If you want to hang out, chat. It's 
That's where we do all our off-stream stuff. Um, let's get our raid messages. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're playing a brand new game. We're gonna be playing the Lego Harry Potter game. By Quartz request. Cause she will be here, not working. So we'll play that tomorrow. It's a chill game. It's a Harry Potter game. It's a Lego game. Lego Harry Potter. I have it on Switch, so we're gonna be playing that tomorrow. We'll try that out. So if you wanna come and hang out, we'll be here. Probably around the same time. I'll let you know in Discord though, it's a good place to get your updates. And then we're gonna raid. Oh, there's a lot of U's in this name. Let me not screw this up. Got it. Minsuya. <laughs> we're gonna raid her. She's playing Animal Crossing. I haven't watched her before. So we'll, we'll go say hi, and we'll see if we meet a new friend. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow, right? Thank you guys for the support. Thanks for hanging out. If you were here for the first game, thank you. If you were here for Animal Crossing, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. I love you, bye. The only one I don't get is 40%. Like. I feel like it's the one size I can definitely never use because it's only um, it's only the, it's only numbers and 